All right, people. Welcome to your own Unacademy Neat English channel. Is everybody are we live? Everybody can see me. Yes, we are live. So, uh, boys and girls, welcome to your own Unacademy Neat English channel. I'm Dr. Bankuri Meghlani, your biology educator. Here we are yet again meeting for another amazing uh, session in Game of Neat series. Um, and today the chapter is teeny tiny. I know I say that for uh, almost all the chapters and then they go for five to six hours long. Uh, but this is really a teeny tiny chapter and it is sort of a breather for you since you guys have been doing such um, long chapters with your amazing uh, dedication, uh, whether it is physics or chemistry or biology. Um, you guys have been amazing supporting Game of Needs series um, and we are very happy uh, and delighted uh, at that. And uh, so, so guys, uh, this is a breather, like I said, it's not going to be a more than four hours, three hours session. Yeah. So uh, plus minus 30 minutes is allowed for ma'am. Uh, that is allowed for ma'am. Ma'am only uh, gets the best of PYQs for her students and that is very very important here. PYQ solving along with theory is very very important. So cell division, why I chose this chapter today? Because you guys have been doing genetics also in zoology and not only genetics, the entire class 12th biology, whether it is biotechnology, genetics, reproduction, it, is, it, it stands on the very foundation of the very basic of cell division, okay? So cell division is a very, very concise chapter, very crisp chapter, but carries a humongous weightage, a very, very large weightage of at least four to five MCQs every year. Yes, we are talking um, good, good deal here. Yeah, it's, it's the real business of around 20 marks. Yeah, I've been seeing five questions. Let me welcome everybody. Vijay Kumar, thank you so much. Frankel, Ramkrishna, Ashwat, thank you. Um, Celsia, thank you, darling. I'm sure you are, uh, uh, you are pretty too. Uh, Naisha, so good to have you, darling. Priya, uh, so yes, I see all the fire and the hearts. You guys are pretty excited and happy with the starting of end game batch yes i'm so so happy uh, that you guys have joined the end game batch and you guys can um, speak out the emotion that you're feeling in terms of all the subjects yeah i'm not only talking about botany yes i have started with the very first chapter of living world uh, we are almost done with living world and uh, it's amazing and anybody who has not yet joined end game batch uh, it is still open i think i have it open yeah I think I should have it open. Yes, the end game batch for the for the for the uninitiated ones. Uh, this amazing batch, and it's not only I. Okay, you see this this uh, this super combo of teachers. Yeah, I can't say this enough. I can't say this enough. I I'm, I'm short of words. This is perhaps the best mm, best uh, team or the best batch uh, that you can get. You have the. Mm, fabulous teachers of this country who have immense experience and I don't have to tell you yeah you attend classes with all of us every day and you see how amazing amazing it is but one thing that is exclusive and special is that this is the only uh, exclusively English batch crash course which is uh, running in this country yeah before I get carried away uh, talking um, all uh, hearts and fires for my end game batch uh, it has started don't delay it Link is given in the description box. Please use the code PM1 Live. Use the code PM1 Live. PM1 Live. Yeah, somehow Botany has a lot of P's, isn't it? So I want everybody to share the session with their friends, family, um, enemies. If you have, you shouldn't have enemies. I'm not promoting that. Whoever you know, just share the session with everybody. With your teachers, it's okay. It is okay. Everybody is going to thank you. That's a promise. Ah. So, um, good to see you. Good to see you, Philhal. Uh, Saucy. Oh, Saucy is here. Indu, Indu. Uh, darling, I can't really understand what you're saying. Um, uh, Zen, that's a good joke. You guys have a good sense of humor. Good to see that. Not a problem. Not a problem. In a while, in another... Two, three minutes, we are going to get really serious, okay? Although this chapter is very small and concise, it is very dense with concepts, okay? 
it is very dense with technicalities and the good part of such chapter is that uh, once you understand cell division there are a lot of confusions that i'm going to clear today in terms of cell division yeah a lot of basics will be cleared the technicalities will be cleared which will help you to solve all the questions tomorrow at around 5 pm 5 pm yes the link is given in the description box it will be put in some time uh, i just share it with the team uh, 5 pm i'm going to solve all the pyqs of today's session and cell division will not be a fear anymore lot of people message me ma'am although this chapter is this these many pages it's a very small chapter but somehow when we begin to solve questions yeah we are um, mm, cuckoos okay so don't worry about it but i want you to stick to the session because absolutely basics will be cleared like never before yeah i have felt the pain of every student while planning today's session why am i playing in so many gadgets right now i don't want to see myself okay ladies and gentlemen what is cell division ha ha what is cell division i know you know this i know you know this but we will start from the very basic we will start from the zero like we always do okay so cell division ma'am is a process by which a cell divides why do i need a cell to divide why do i need a cell to divide you know the very first day of me i whoever i is today was in the form of a zygote in my mother's womb that was my real birthday yeah when you're born 9 months later that is a delayed birthday but the moment we are conceived in the mother's womb post fertilization as a single cell zygote okay that is the real real birth of an individual the coming together of chromosomes of gametes everything has happened everything is decided your blueprint is decided who you are going to be i mean how you are going to be okay so mm, from that zygote single cell zygote to becoming this what is happening in between what is the process what is the tune playing that is cell division and today if i get hurt here if there's a wound here it heals because of cell division in every human's life there are two phases yes i am chinu to a grown up individual yeah that is growth but post puberty we are reproductively active as well that is our body is doing gametogenesis or oh, you guys know it i know you 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 love the chapter of reproduction i know so that phase is taken care of that gametogenesis is taken care of by a cell division now if i make a if i fabricate a suitable sensible definition then you know i have moved beyond from just saying hey cell division is just a process by which a cell divides yeah let's add some sense to it ladies and gentlemen okay so everybody like i said pens and paper and we write together okay so what is the thing that happens what is cell division yeah a genetically controlled a genetically controlled a genetically controlled why did i say genetically controlled you know what it's needless to mention that every damn thing happening is controlled by genes yeah the dna is going to decide when the cell should divide and when it shouldn't gametogenesis starts happening at the time of puberty not sooner not later okay and and uh if this is not genetically controlled then something called as cancer the one of the causes of cancer is when this control goes for a six so yes this is essentially a genetically controlled and and sequential process can you hear me properly yes priya that is a tumor tumor formation uncontrolled division sequential sequential process so this is the exact sequence that even lords even gods cannot break 
okay a cell has to go through this sequence i am not concerned about telling you the sequence right now but this is the exact sequence a sequential process by which by which a cell grows grows replicates its genetic material replicates its genome whether the cell is going to just divide for the purpose of growth or wound healing or there is gametogenesis this particular part that is replication of the genome the blueprint the coded language present in our cell is going to happen this is the most important thing replicates its genome undergoes recombination undergoes recombination now this i have added this i have added to you know include meiosis also most of the definitions we speak about when we talk about cell division they only um they are biased towards mitosis because all my life the major cell division that is happening is mitosis i agree but let's include meiosis as well if i talk about meiosis suddenly the essence of meiosis you guys know is rather the recombination recomb yeah uh, developing different traits in the future of spring isn't it so we will include that and then i'm going to do something a personal touch yeah divides and then after all of this is done mm divides into two or four two or four why did i write that answers in the chat box daughter cells daughter cells daughter cells is that clear daughter cell formation will happen whether it is mitosis or meiosis is that clear now what was the history of cell division what was the folklore hmm four in meiosis krutika very good ma'am we are missing your classes in avengers batch are baba the syllabus is complete no i completed the ecology and now end game batch has started you should you 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 can take classes in the end game batch tomorrow 8 pm we are meeting for i don't know ah uh, biological classification yeah any uh, any any other worries you have yeah so whenever you study such a observational biology you study biology under different domains you have molecular biology you have cellular biology cellular biology the study of cellular biology and it's a huge branch you talk about cancer oncology yeah that is a huge branch of research huge branch okay so everything the basis of everything is the study of the cell what happens in the cell will happen in the body it will show in the body also if something goes wrong at the cellular level the organism completely goes for a six everything is destroyed if something good happens at the cellular level then good things happen at the organism level is that clear now if you guys don't behave properly then ma'am will simply hide the chat box ma'am does that hide the chat box okay so the folklore there were so many people there were so many people involved in cytology it is difficult to name everybody but i am going to take certain names which have been asked as previous year questions and you can relate with them now you know since childhood you've been studying about the cell theory mm. so modern cell theory was given by a gentleman called rudolf virchow yes ma'am we know that so rudolf virchow was the first guy who gave the idea rudolf virchow gave the world an idea that you know what i can see that new cells originate or come from pre existing cells yeah in his own popular phrase he said omnis cellula e cellula yeah i think he was a he was a, he was in poland yeah he was in poland but that's not important he was a physician he was a doctor 
and he was looking at the disease cells and he said oh these are the disease cells they are not functioning properly but the same body is able to make healthy cells and somewhere i can see the healing is happening so he said guys that's all i know that's all i know that new cells originate from pre existing cells but till then nobody had actually studied cell division so who studied cell division for the first time bovirai and fleming and fleming this is a previous year question not commonly asked but you and i are not here only for easy and commonly asked questions are we are we they studied somatic division for the first time yeah somatic division now who is going to tell me in the chat box what is this somatic division what am i referring to can you give me a particular label for somatic division if i see my chat box not maintaining discipline and decorum then i'm not even going to look i'm going to hide the chat box for today yeah so then you guys will be like mom is not talking to us so this happens in 18th century in around 1840 or something and this happened in late 1800 1880 that fleming talked about the somatic division and fleming coined the term mitosis coined the term mitosis because somatic division is nothing but mitosis baba what do, what are somatic cells all the cells which are not taking part in sexual reproduction which are not germ cells which are not involved in gametogenesis somatic cells somatic cells somatic cells somatic cells somatic cell. okay now later on later on somebody did some work on meiosis also and they were farmer farmer and more and more who worked on meiosis i haven't seen the question they rather coined the term meiosis i haven't seen a lot of questions on who coined the term meiosis but a lot of questions on who coined the term mitosis now i want you to create a visual memory of this because this is my matter of discussion starting from now you have a look here there is this g1 phase it's a cycle and then it proceeds to the s phase it's a cycle and it goes to the g2 phase and then there is something called as the mitotic phase okay and after mitotic phase it's a cycle the cell goes again to g1 phase we promise that it is cell cycle but i also understand that starting from g1 phase till the mitotic phase somehow i am labeling all of this yeah this red and green portion from from if i exclude the mitotic phase everything else is the interphase there is no breaking this sequence we already promised that yes oh if you haven't shared the session and liked the session till now kindly do so because it is very very important to tell people that you can do botany like never before that um this class is happening so kindly share this session like i always say and if you don't mind if it takes nothing please like the session as well okay then next is where will you see cell division ma'am okay i want to study cell division what do i do where will i see actually cell division happening this is called observational biology cytology is all observational you need a microscope you can it's not like morphology it's not like you can observe the tap root and the adventitious root or the modifications of root happening you need a microscope a good quality microscope you need your staining procedures to see individual cellular components cytoplasmic components are we clear so in school in practicals if you remember class 11th they tell you to take the onion root tip some of you must have done that experiment depends on board to board to board school to school because onion root tip has meristematic tissue apical meristem 
if i if it was up to me i could have told you to take the uh, nodal or internodal region of grasses answers in the chat box come on we are smarter than epital meristem what kind of meristem am i referring to if i'm telling you to take the section of the internodal region of grasses come on be very very wise yeah so whatever kind of meristem it is you will see active cell division so where will you find meristematic tissue meristematic tissue is actively dividing or you can say meristematic cell also then you can take the embryo cell a developing embryo cell it is actively dividing now ma'am this is meristematic cell it is immature embryo immature means some mature cells also this is plant cell well your own skin cells and your own rbcs are dividing every 24 hours they have to they have to regenerate okay so skin cells rbcs isn't it rbcs what else can you see if you want to see meiosis these are the cells where you will see mitosis equational division yeah 1 into 2 1 into 2 1 into 2 But if you want to see meiosis uh, in school, if I remember, if the syllabi is still same, they ask you to take testis of grasshopper. It used to be frog in my time. Uh, dissection was not allowed, but I did it anyway. Uh, so it is testis of testis of grasshopper, where I am talking about the germinal cell. So this is one of the example. Now, what is generation time, ladies and gentlemen? Answers in the chat box. Everybody means everybody. Very important question. Very easy concept. So this chapter has mm, the the kind of questions that are asked from this chapter are very easy. That is the good part. I'm not scared that it's like Plant Kingdom where you can get stuck in life cycle or something. Questions are very easy, <laughs> but understanding the chapter sometimes. the technicalities and the phases the transition between two phases of cell cycle can be a challenge sometimes hopefully it will get clear today okay so generation time is the time period is the time period between two successive successive cell cycles ma'am that is very easy yaar no problem at all so i the cell underwent one division yes i the cell underwent one division there are two daughter cells now this cell will undergo a fresh mitotic division this cell will undergo a fresh mitotic division but the time period between that that is the generation time this depends on species to species it's not a constant for everybody ncrt gives example of human cells human cells have a generation time of 24 hours ha ha so so you know my mother instills this uh, knowledge within me and i never understood um, when i was as old as you i never understood why she says you know don't worry so much about life it's okay um forgive people stay happy you are a new person every day she used to say that all the time all the time i thought it is some philosophy i don't know you know how we just ignore things which don't make sense which don't come into the experience but if you look at this we are actually very new every 24 hours that is the generation time if you talk about yeast yeah the saccharomyces very interesting lady she is she takes uh, 90 minutes 90 minutes and if you talk about the bacteria they take um merely 20 minutes 20 minutes that is why the cultures grow so quickly if you give a good nutrition medium everything is clear to everybody now boys and girls there is a catch in this story there is a catch in this story that catch will become clear once we understand the phases of the cell cycle remember the cycle that i showed you are are i sick i sick 
cell cycle phases everybody now every cell cycle whether it is mitosis or meiosis this is a generic information is divided into a a long growth non dividing non dividing i phase or the interface i phase is short form for interface now i want more fire and heart in the chat section i want a little bit more uh, josh in the chat section laharika pere or the message that i can see is ha ha and uh, no other message tell me the reason of ha ha if you will i want to do ha ha too noor is there subhashri is there amrutha ahil wow what beautiful names you guys got mm. sayed is there saitaja choudhary white colored hearts yeah white is my favorite color in fact somehow people don't pranita is there okay nandini very good you guys are amazing oh Phew. so i says and what do you see i want you to have a very careful look at what i'm saying long growth this is a technically dense chapter okay so you might require more attention than before and the second phase boys and girls is a short i said non dividing this one is dividing dividing and i said i phase this is called as the m phase boys and girls now i am not saying mitotic phase it can be m can stand for meiotic phase as well ha huh? don't worry now the catch in the story is ah this is interesting out of these 24 hours or 90 minutes or 20 minutes whatever it is this phase takes 95% can you appreciate this color Mm. 95% of the time duration of cell cycle so out of 24 hours for 23 hours only i phase will happen and m phase will be less than 5% of the time so perhaps 1 hour for only m phase which is the actual phase here I said cell cycle is the method by which cell divides, and you're giving the real deal is happening in one hour. Okay, so the way to understand is think of it that you have invited someone for dinner. Your parents have invited a friend of theirs, or you have invited a friend for dinner. A family of four, rather. So what takes more time? actually having the dinner or preparing for dinner preparing for that uh, party what takes more time the preparation takes more time we should include doubling up or stocking up all the nice nice tasty tasty food items in your kitchen you know mothers go berserk they they are like oh get this get sugar get um whatever the vegetables or chicken or fish i want to serve them the best get the raw materials and then she'll cook and then she'll clean and then she'll take care of the dishes i want to serve in this dish get the cups get the plates happens to everybody <laughs> the actual time duration of having that dinner could be just 30 minutes or 40 minutes that is what it is that is what is happening here so this is the long growth non dividing but preparatory i phase and this is the actual short dividing m phase is this clear to everybody yes very good now ladies and gentlemen we said that this step is sequential and this sequence 
is controlled by the genetics of an organism whenever whatever is happening in my body the expression of everything is controlled by dna in my body but dna is never involved directly dna is the commanding officer he tells rna you have just studied molecular uh, genetics just last week ambika ma'am has taught you molecular genetics yes yes i am just stating the very it's like it's like one grain of what she has taught you in molecular genetics yeah so dna tells rna hey you know what you have to do this you have to tell the cycle to enter the g1 phase and then not enter perhaps the s phase but even rna doesn't do it rna tells the proteins to do it yes yes so when i say that there is a regulation when when i say that that it is a genetically controlled process this is not given clearly in ncre but furnishes many many questions don't tell me later we didn't know the proteins which are involved in the regulation in the regulation of cell cycle are the cyclins cyclins and something called as cyclin dependent kinases now i agree that these are enzymes but enzymes are also proteins enzymes are also proteins these enzymes what they do actually what kinases do repeat after me cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases if it seems difficult to you and you haven't heard about them before if this is the substrate substrate could be a target protein you don't have to get into the details of it but what that is how this enzyme functions yeah then this particular enzyme cdk adds the phosphate group and your protein gets activated with the help of phosphate group i apply these two proteins cyclin and cdk what you have to remember is there is a constant dialogue between cyclin cyclin and cdk who all cyclin and cdk to tell the cell to guide the cell where to go oh trust me on this if this guidance fails it can lead to disaster in the body if the cell doesn't know that i don't have to divide right now and it keeps dividing there's nobody to stop cyclins this is one of the reasons of tumor formation and it keeps dividing then the mass of cells formed by uncontrolled division is the definition that you study is tumor it is benign in the beginning because it is at the target site and when it is when it enters the blood stream and it is carried to distant sites that is where malignancy or cancer happens so now this the this function or this dialogue was incorporated in the form of two checkpoints two checkpoints of division what are the two checkpoints well there is one check checkpoint that lies here that lies here between the g1 and s phase yes and it is called as the cg1 or the g1 cyclin is that clear to everybody this is one of the most important or the major checkpoint no cell is allowed to miss this extremely important checkpoint okay and the next checkpoint lies somewhere here after the g2 phase and before the mitotic phase have a careful look somewhere here somewhere here can you see that this is the second minor checkpoint 
there are two three other checkpoints also which are all minor this is the most major checkpoint now the name of the other checkpoint is cm or the mitotic cyclin mitotic cyclin it is like you got the wrong let's understand with the help of everyday examples it's easier listening yeah so mama told us our mothers told us to get all the raw materials hey guests are coming get all of this these many cages of this this many cages of this get this get that sugar dal whatever now after you've got all the raw materials you're coming with all the heavy bags from the market ha huh? okay i got what you said you gave me the list she's going to check everything yes or no yes or no she checks moms are good at check checking things yeah so this is the first checkpoint okay and then the next checkpoint is she will see whether according to her recipes everything is of the great good quality it is in my house that happens i'll get everything she'll check it also but when she goes to actually cooking the dish she'll always tell me you know you could have got a better you, you should have got that one not this one the quality is not good it is not organic enough and what not sometimes it's irritating i hope she's not watching the session yeah so ladies and gentlemen there are two checkpoints now actually the mechanism is not in your syllabus but it's so damn easy might as well do it might as well do it so what happens is see cdk is lying here cdk is lying here okay so the cyclin protein comes from here he is here the cyclin attaches to cdk and in this process atp is also used the moment this interaction happens cyclin attaches to cdk in this case it will be what kind of cyclin it will be cyclin g1 cyclin we said that right so this cyclin protein will attach and this enzyme will get activated ha ha i got energy also i got protein also very happy and this protein cdk will now cause the transition into the s phase boys and girls of course it's not as simple as it sounds but that's the that's sort of how uh, checkpoints function now if the cell didn't want to go into s phase then this kind of relationship association between cyclin and cdk won't happen at that point of time this protein cyclin if the cell says hey you know what i don't feel like going to the s phase because once i go to the s phase there is no coming back cell cycle does not have the choice of coming back there is no coming back it is sequential means it is sequential rules are rules okay so once i enter the s phase there is no coming back yaar i don't want to go through all of that i want to leave the cell cycle then this cg1 protein will degrade okay if you don't want to go fine yeah so even if you got all the raw materials and the friends called up hey we can't come for dinner we are very busy there is a cell cycle class that is happening we might as well attend that that is what you should do to all the dinner invitations that happen before me 2024 at least your teachers are going to do that yeah cool people is this clear to everybody this is usually a matter of confusion it is not given quite categorically in your textbooks i hope you understood and from because checkpoint is one topic where mcq is coming year after year year after year i'm going to be talking about g0 phase in a while not now i haven't talked about the individual phases now if you guys think that you get the best quality content on this channel that you have experienced for yourself nobody told you to believe just at the face of it none of the teachers told you that you know what believe us that we are giving you the best content we are teaching you the best you've seen that you've supported us you've loved us in game of neat series and there is so much more lying for you there is so much of personal interaction there's so much of doing these chapters from the very scratch you people have seen that in the first four days of end game batch 
and for all of that you're getting the mock tests the live mock tests the dpps teachers sitting there directly every day all the entire team teaching you guiding you since morning this is actually a minimal price think about it take the right decision life is all about the right decisions and yes you can use the code pm1 live red ke upar red nahi jamega pm1 live and for people who are 2025 aspirants or if you want to explore everything on an academy all the educators whatever everything possible you're greedy for more knowledge more then you can go for resolve 2024 for plus and iconic subscriptions okay there also you should use the code pm1 live pm1 live looking like a wow yeah next we move on to interface the very first phase which is the interface what is interface boys and girls any one word for interface let's start writing intermitosis it is called intermitosis because this is the phase between two mitotic divisions am i right it is called as the resting stage but do you think it is resting that is a misnomer some authors fought for removing this label from interface because oh my god i am not resting the guest is thinking your friend is thinking yeah you're resting you're not doing anything but you are working so hard running to the market getting the raw materials mama is cooking in the kitchen you are getting the scolding because she is irritated everybody is experienced right so it is the resting stage but this is a misnomer because it is actually the metabolically very very active phase more than the m phase this is the metabolically active phase i want to call it as the preparatory phase preparatory phase so that nobody feels bad it is the preparatory phase essentially what happens in interphase is cell grows in size cell grows in size yeah becomes like oh i have to divide oh big things are happening grows in size and replicates or duplicates one and the same thing kindly don't get confused replicates all cellular components all cellular components what can be the cellular components yeah come on cellular components including the mighty the very important blueprint that is genetic material genetic material is also replicated things are very serious i want to form two daughter cells i want to divide everything equally i don't want to leave anything whether cellular components means the um, amino acids present in the cytoplasm the carbohydrates present the fatty acids which are present the enzymes which are present the organelles which is present the mighty golgi the er the mitochondria the plastids that was in one breath oh okay so now what is happening in interphase is all of this important thing is divided into three phases what are the three phases the first one is the g1 phase yes ma'am we saw that in the beginning only s phase and the g2 phase now remember what i told you what all teachers to tell you all of the teachers tell you they keep saying the same mantra again and again make running notes make notes with the teacher ha huh. so i understand that you guys are so busy in the chat box you're doing a great thing and um, chat box is very important and it is fun also but if you can take out time from that busy schedule kindly write the notes because these are not you will not find this in the textbook so g1 phase is the longest phase ah it is the longest phase or the first growth phase don't cry later don't cry later that we don't understand cell division s phase is the synthesis phase is the synthesis phase ah something is being made g2 phase shortest phase no confusion from today onwards it is the shortest phase 
or the second growth phase second growth phase okay ma'am if you say so you know what i tell you one thing uh sometimes there are some cells who never leave this super metabolically active and super rich with everything you know because you're replicating uh, nutrients also everything and then those cells are like we will not distribute only we will stay here can you name the cells in human body can you name the cells in human body who stay in interface throughout their life this is a previous year question mm -hmm. no yes ma'am will think about it not giving the answer immediately thank you sayed amazing shraddha uh, good to have you always meera has written a letter i like letters nobody writes letters to me i mean the hand written pen and paper letters we all are paid na i said now to be honest game of need to compare is ways and worse but you all are ignored avoid it's bad we can't study meera beta life is not this bad yeah now it, it's calm down yeah calm down it's not the way you are thinking and you are perceiving things uh it's not like that trust me i stand tall on my ground and say this darling it's not that bad if you're trying to do this intentionally it's not going to help skin cells oh, oh right skin cells remain in interface hmm proper schedule darling schedule is proper i'm sitting here every day at 8 pm for end game classes i'm coming every week here in the game of need class and that that goes for every teacher why are you so uh, troubled don't be troubled even if everything everything is not working out don't be so troubled here in here <laughs> you the heavy comments that you guys put life is not so serious here yes nerve and heart cells nerve and heart cells your mind and brain remains doesn't go for division once they are made if you put if you put your heart on something your mind on something no division then okay so nerve and heart cells do not divide or rather let's write it the way it is asked heart cells remain in interface remain in interface throughout their life their life their life is my life yeah till you are alive once the cell is made it will not divide now boys and girls i wonder all said and done i wonder which phase are they resting in because one thing is for sure that they entered interface i'm saying they stay in interface but i don't know which phase do they continue to be in is it g1 is it s is it g2 i have given you the hint i have said this now that shows whether you heard or not answers please nikhil my dearest Ma'am speaks about the weightage of every chapter in the beginning of the session. That was done at five o five p.m. Go to the. Uh, you can drag the video. <sighs> There is no going back. There is definitely going back from foolishness to wisdom. G zero phase. Um, my question was a um, little different.
Mohammad Nabil, thank you for such a wise reply. Yes, in end game batch, all the subjects are taught every day. Okay, let's proceed. You know, you guys just maybe we can we can just hold a session where you just talk to the teachers. You know, ask anything, ask me anything. I used to hold these sessions, ask me anything sessions. So this is interface. What is happening in interface? Let's ascertain that. For a while, we are going to just look at the interface. Okay, this is the M phase, which is 5% of the total phase, total time duration. We saw that rest 95% is interface. The first phase of interface is called as the G1 phase. What happens in G1 phase? What did we say? It is the longest phase. So everything important for cell division is going to happen in G1 phase. First thing is cell is going to grow in size. Now I'm going to tell you, now I'm going to tell you something that only the wise ones would understand and the others if they pay attention would understand. Okay. Every cell has a particular size and shape during its lifetime. It has a destiny that this is going to be, I am a parenchymator cell, this is my size, this is my shape, this is my function. I am a colenchymator cell, this is my size, shape, function. If you increase the size of a cell, you are interfering with the pre-decided surface volume ratio. What is the volume of anything? You take a container, you take a bottle, okay? You want to pour, why do you buy this bottle? What is the function of this bottle? It holds water for me right now. The holding capacity, the empty space is what I'm interested in of any vessel. That is my volume. And this is the surface area. So this surface area volume ratio should not be, it is fixed, almost fixed. Now, when the cell grows in size, ha, 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 and this ratio suddenly decreases further because you are trying to increase the volume of the cell, this acts like a message for the cell or a trigger point for the cell to undergo cell division. And that is what a cell in G1 phase is trying to do. It is trying to give a message. Let's get going. Okay, and once that message is given, I immediately have to stock myself up because the cell will be like, okay, you want me to divide? Give me energy, bro. So I do that with the help of first thing is RNA and proteins. Lot of RNA and proteins are formed. These proteins can be generic proteins, amino acids. But I am going to manufacture every kind of raw material. You want butter chicken? Get the raw materials. You want palak paneer? Get the raw material. I am talking for both vegetarian and non-vegetarian people out there. You want fish curry? Get the fish. Get the masalas for the curry. Get whatever it is. I haven't cooked in a while. Yeah. So all the raw materials for these two phases and even this phase, yeah, the one we have hidden have to be manufactured in G1 phase. After that, I do not have a chance or time to manufacture the raw materials. Minded people. So you can manufacture amino acids here. Why am I writing it here? Because this is exactly the way he puts the question. Which phase is the longest? G1 phase. Which phase manufactures amino acids, carbohydrates, ATP? ATP. Now, if you are saying that you want to form a new DNA, you want to replicate the genome, then I need genome specific proteins also. I want histone proteins also. I want nucleotides also. Otherwise, how can I make DNA? Yeah, so even nucleotides are formed. Even nucleotides are formed. Ah, 
so you know what i have done everything necessary and if i want to distribute cellular components equally into two daughter cells i need new er i need new golgi all of that i need lysosomes i need everything there is no shortcut okay so cell organelles cell organelles are duplicated are we very very clear are we very very clear next we go to the s phase now here in this diagram there is a problem that g1 and s sort of look equal but they are not s is rather shorter because now the cell is like after this checkpoint that i told you about it is pass and the cell has got the permission go ahead divide then in s phase something very serious happens and that is dna replication dna replication and when dna replication happens the chromosomes are like uh we were uh, what are you doing so there was a the, the, you know the kitchen already had a lot of uh, rice okay there was 2 kg rice already in the box and everybody was happy and you come back from the market and you think you've got all the raw materials and your mama will be happy i'm speaking from my own experience ha huh. i hope she is not watching this session oh my god so uh, you get the rice she says you know get 2 kg more because guests are coming in and then you're like things are good but then she's like get one more uh, uh, this one uh, where do i keep the extra 2 kg rice get the container go run to the market buy a new container i don't have the container to put extra rice so now in order to pack that extra dna i need chromatin fibers the biggest confusion masses carry the chromosome i please don't do that no chromosome is formed chromosome number remains the same chromatin fibers are formed new chromatin fibers are formed okay i'm going to clear that now i'm going to clear that confusion so that it never stays it is erased forever from your brain okay so what you're going to write is chromatin fibers chromatin fibers you have heterochromatin euchromatin all of that you should know chromatin fibers are formed okay one more thing ladies and gentlemen one of my favorite means favorite i said cell organelle are duplicated in g1 phase but there is one cell organelle which is not rightfully called a cell organelle in fact it's a microtubular structure what am i talking about yeah i am talking about the centrioles centrioles are duplicated this is very 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 important question this is the only organelle which gets to duplicate during the s phase so now my cell has four centrioles because anyway a cell has a pair of centrioles isn't it and then i move on to the s uh, to the g2 phase what is g2 phase g2 phase is a chill phase you know you're done getting the raw materials the rice and the uh, baking powder and uh, i don't know what all the vegetables and g2 phase and you got the containers also she's kind of okay she's like yeah it can happen i can manage g2 phase is what is left now one or two things the dressing part can you get the sauce can you cut the salad can you do this so these are not those serious things yeah so now in g2 phase what is going to happen i the cell can never have enough proteins our body our metabolism loves proteins okay so more rna and proteins more rna and proteins especially ladies and gentlemen putting a little more sense into it going more specific pardon me for that i can't control uh, here if i talk about the proteins in this phase they are going to be more targeted at 
DNA replication. So there will be more histone like proteins. But here I know that I am going to go to the M phase. So the kind of proteins will be will be will be spindle fiber proteins. And if you know the major protein in the mitotic apparatus is the tubulin protein. So I am going to make tubulin protein primarily it does not mean it does not mean it does not mean that other proteins will not be formed. Now boys and girls ma'am you have written protein everywhere what do I choose in the exam? If it is asked you will always go for any kind of synthesis except DNA except DNA will be marked for G1 and there are lot of questions regarding this that you might have encountered. Is this clear? Now sometimes the organelles which have not replicated here for example mitochondria, chloroplasts these are semi-autonomous anyway they have the power to decide God has given them the power of being semi-autonomous I hope you know. So cell organelle duplication can also happen. So this is very similar but if a MCQ is asked you will stick to G1 phase. Now here I want you to categorically mention that chromosome number, chromosome number, chromosome number remains the same, remains the same in S phase. Okay. So what is happening is let me make it clear I don't want to take any risks and chances if this is the cell this is the nucleus it had the chromatin like this all right now in S phase what is going to happen is this chromatin is going to get a little doubled up because the DNA content has increased but the chromosome number is still the same. The chromosome number is still N if it is a haploid cell I am still N. I am just having more. If my DNA content was C, now it has become 2C. Is that clear? Okay. And uh, one more thing. If you condense this chromosome, if you condense this chromosome, you shorten it up. In a cell normally, if I am a N cell, if I am a haploid cell, I the haploid cell, I the haploid cell, on condensation looks like this. Have a careful look. I look like this. This is me with one sister chromatid and this is me, this is me, this is me, this is me with C DNA content, no problem at all. But when you are sending me for division in S phase, if you condense me now, then I will have extra chromatid. Please make this, these basics very clear. It is applicable to meiosis. You will not understand meiosis and mitosis and you will definitely go for negative marking if you miss out on this. Now my DNA content just took one extra chromatid in the same chromosome. But this is not normal. A cell will not survive in this. That is why if I have entered the S phase and this has happened to me, then I have to divide. I, there is no uh, choice after that. Because this way nobody will stay. It is not allowed. Not allowed means not allowed. Okay. So here DNA content has become 2CR. But the chromosome number is still one centromere, one chromosome. No kidding here. So I am still N. This is not a 2N condition. Are we very clear? We have to be. There is no other choice. I wish there was a choice. Now, just giving you a break after so much of technicality. I understand. Interface, my God, we thought it's easy. Ha ha ha, ma'am has made it so difficult. Yeah, that happens. What is the importance of cell division? Before that, let me speak about the G0 phase. Another thing that you guys often go wrong with. In 2020 or 2021, there was a certain MCQ that went negative for everybody. That went negative for almost everybody. The question was, um, I think it was 2021 or 19 or 20. It was recent. Does the cell exit the cell cycle or suspend the cell cycle in Z0 phase? That was the question. And masses, certain people marked exit, most of the people marked exit. And then there were some people who marked suspend. What was the correct answer? We will arrive at the correct answer. 
So what is G0 phase? You've already looked at the G0 phase. Well, a cell has to decide before S phase whether it wants to continue or go into a dormant stage also called as the quiescent, quiescent phase or the dormant phase. I personally don't want to use the word dormant because the cell is very, very metabolically active. Mind you, it is met metabolically active because you've given so much of nutrients into it. Okay. So quiescent simply means that I am not dividing further. Not dividing further. Quiescent word is a generic botanical term. It is not related to only this phase. There was a quiescent zone in the roots also, if you remember. Now, this can happen for two reasons. This can happen for two reasons and it is very, very common sense based. I don't know why people get confused. I can either exit the, life, uh, the cell cycle or I can suspend the life cycle, uh, the, <laughs> the cell cycle. Please don't exit or suspend the life cycle. We don't want that. Exit the cell cycle or suspend the cell cycle. Yes, people? Are people alive? People are spamming. Oh, somebody has written a letter. I'm getting so many letters in my chat box. But it, it moved up. Khat, we call it. Oh. What happened, yeah? Is everything okay? Let the spammers be. They're also trying to do something. Every human being who has come on the planet will do something, na? Darling, Priya, with me, you will never get a direct answer. That's a problem. We are arriving at the answer. <laughs> and this was to further create a confusion. I, we don't know. Is it exit or suspend? Because the cell can decide to do both. Oh, yeah, I forgot to warm. I, I don't have warm water. I just recovered from viral. And... Uh, done. Awesome means awesome. So now, ladies and gentlemen, human nerve cells and heart cells who do not listen to me carefully. It is just a matter of language. I don't like when examiner does that, but that particular question was heartbreaking because some of my dearest students, the hardworking ones lost out on that. Mm. Yeah, uh, the nerve cells, the nerve cells and the heart cells who never come back, never enter life, why am I saying life cycle? I think because we did plant kingdom before this. Enter cell cycle again are giving us an idea of exiting it. But this is rare. This doesn't happen all the time. Okay? What happens usually Priya? What happens usually? is that any cell decides, a meristematic cell can decide one Monday morning, I am not going to divide today. Make me parenchyma. That is what we promised in anatomy, right? Okay, so if I suspend, that is a temporary thing. That is temporary. Yeah, only for the good cause of differentiation differentiation that is to perform special functions in the organism's body then I'm suspending the life cycle for some time but I can go back I can go back to the cell cycle to become meristematic again fine I'll divide again I'll cause growth this happens so much in anatomy you guys have studied that with me if you have not go to the playlist watch that lecture you can watch it 1.5x 1.75x but get your basics clear. Okay, so now when the examiner gave the question, the correct answer, darlings, was suspend. <laughs> it is not exit. And even these cells are somewhere in G0. G0 comes after G1, you know. 
So you are there, you are at this spot, so you have not exited. Since this is a common case, we choose suspend always and always. Is that clear? Now we will talk about the general uh, conversation. What do you think? Now I've told, gave you some idea of cell division. We have spoken about interphase. Interphase, what I told you, is generic for both mitosis and meiosis. Before we go further into understanding the comparative version of mitosis and meiosis, one more thing I always guide you this way. If you want to go further into advanced concept, your foundation should be very strong. Is it? So, if you understand mitosis, then meiosis becomes easy. Okay, don't try to mug up two mechanisms separately. Never helps. Right? So, before we go there, what do you think is the importance of cell division? Now, you guys have to guide me. What is the importance of cell division? <laughs> so, first is growth. Growth and repair. Yeah, I was a baby. I grew up, when I get hurt, my body repairs itself, isn't it? So it is definitely the case, it is still happening every day, every 24 hours I am a new person. So please start staying happy. Anyways, you are a new person every 24 hours. Multicellular organisms. But in my end game class, in my end game class, I told you, that this is not the case with unicellular organisms. What should I write? Growth and reproduction. Reproduction are mutually inclusive. Remember from the end game class, everybody? So unicellular organisms. Now I am not talking about mitosis. I am talking about cell division. Cell division can be mitosis or meiosis both. I am able to maintain the chromosome number, chromosome number from generation to generation, from generation to generation with the help of meiosis. So if parents are 46 chromosomes, the zygote or the child is also 46 chromosomes because during sexual reproduction, the male parent produces a gamete with half the number of chromosomes and female parent produces a gamete with half the number of chromosomes that is 23, 23 and when they come together during fertilization, they produce exactly the 46 chromosomes so a human being gives birth to a human baby and that to recombine with some unique traits. I am not using the term character, I am using the term trait and I am signifying that you have studied genetics. So be precise in what you say and what you study and what you feel. Okay. Now, what else happens here? Yeah? The chromosome number remains the same. Wound healing, uh, that is in repair. Yeah? Wound healing won't happen. Actually, guys, I get to, uh, suddenly my head has something very important. How many of you have seen that your old grandparents who are diabetic, anybody who is diabetic, struggles with wound healing. Ah, what a beautiful example. I don't know from where I get this. Huh? Why do they struggle with wound healing? Ma'am, mitosis doesn't happen, that's why. Why mitosis doesn't happen in a diabetic patient very easily? I'm not leaving you just that ma'am, mitosis doesn't happen. Come on, think about it. Think about it, everybody. Hmm? Hmm? Nobody's answering. Uh... Sayyid, you are amazing, yaar. Nandini, darling, uh, it's sorted, na? You, if it is asked again, if the examiner dares to ask that question again, you are going to mark suspend, not exit. Nobody is exiting the cell cycle. Okay, uh, somebody has written a chitti. I am in class 10th. Congratulations, everybody should be in class 10th and want to purchase iconic subscription but i don't know how to personal mentor is allotted they are allotted especially in iconic that is one of the features that you get a personal mentor for every student that's what i know yeah so um, go for it go for it it's amazing and you have uh, access to doubt sessions also just install the app 
If you go to the app, you will see the option of iconic subscription. <coughs> there will be a price which will be mentioned. Then uh, it will be join the batch. When you click on join the batch, they will ask for a code. There will be a blank section. There you use PM1 Live. And uh, there you go. You, you become number one. And there are uh, contact numbers also given on the app if you're... Fahim is asking, ma'am, in NEAT Endgame, will everyone start from the scratch? Oh, yes, my dearest. That's the, that's the speciality of that batch. It has been told, you, told to you so many times. Yes, they have already started. We, the teachers, have already started. Every teacher has started from the scratch. I have not watched anybody's class, but I know that everybody must have started from minus one, if not zero. Yeah, it's absolute amazing. Is hyperglycemia a reason? Yes. Fahim, uh, okay, we are done. Now, boys and girls, let's get to the question, assertion reason question from previous year. Everybody, read this question. These are the kind of questions which are asked every year. Every year means every year. Mitosis does play a role in gamete formation. Mm. What do you think? Mitosis plays a role in gamete formation or not? Think about it. Is it true or false? Think about amoeba. Think about unicellular algae. Poor thing, chlamydomonas. Yes? So this is also true. I specifically put this question because many people think mitosis is not involved in gamete formation. Life is simple. For gamete formation, I want only meiosis. Baba, clear these basics out forever. Iron out these knots in your conceptual knowledge. I don't want all this to happen to anybody. <laughs> meiosis is for sexually reproducing organisms. I tag the term as in sexually reproducing organisms. What about asexually reproducing organisms, Baba? Mitosis. Haploid organisms divide by mitosis. This is also true, but these are independent statements. I don't see a because fitting here. Hence, you have the option as two. Okay? Hence, you have the option as two. This should be uh, two, not three. This is wrong. Next, factors controlling cell division. What do you think are the factors controlling cell division? Anybody? More than welcome to answer something so amazing. Again, something that is ignored by people. I don't know what is the time. Oh, it's 6.20 already. One minute. Guys, I want everybody to share this session with even JE students. Cell cycle, everybody should know. Factors controlling cell division. Number one, surface volume, cell size. I spoke about it. Why the cell increases in size during interphase? To disturb the surface volume ratio. Surface volume ratio. The moment this ratio will increase, you give me more volume, it gets disturbed. Then the predecided S by V volume, uh, the ratio, it triggers the cell division. Okay. Second is, Kern plasmic ratio, Kern plasmic or the karyoplasmic ratio, karyoplasmic ratio, which is nothing but the nucleus by cytoplasm ratio. So, if the nucleus is bigger or even the cytoplasm goes bigger, let's say in G1 phase, the cytoplasm content has increased so much. To accommodate all that extra carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids. Yeah. So this ratio decreases. The cell gets a message. The nucleus will try to. Will try to accommodate the 
will try to divide the cell into two daughter cells. Or let's say the nucleus grows in size. If this ratio is less, then differentiation happens. But if the ratio is more, if the nucleus is bigger in size, then it goes for division. That is what I told you about meristematic cell also. Didn't I tell you about meristematic cell also? Nucleus is always prominent. Third is mitogens. Mitogens, as the name suggests, these substances will cause or induce mitosis or division. What are the common mitogens? For plants, for plants, we usually see auxins and cytokinins. Auxins and cytokinins. Cytokinins are more aggressive for cell division. Okay, if you want to increase the size, cytokinins. Auxins are not that aggressive, but they also cause cell division. If I talk about animals, that is us, what are the factors? Anybody? This is absolutely zoology. Lymphokines, that is class 12th. Lymphokines, then how does your skin cell know every day to divide? Epidermal growth factor. EGF, epidermal growth factor and how does your uh, WBC or RBC know to divide? It is platelet growth factor, PDGF, platelet derived celebrities are using this growth factor to look beautiful. How do you think? What do you think? Insulin. Ah, the answer to that question. Ah, why diabetes patients don't heal? Insulin promotes wound healing. Insulin promotes wound healing. I have uh, diabetes in my family. Um, um, so I know. Now comes the actual mitosis. We will start with mitosis people. What is mitosis? Mitosis is the somatic division or technically it is the equational division. It is the equational division. Now when I use the term equational, I take it very seriously in terms of quantitatively, quantitatively and qualitatively. qualitatively mind you people when i say quantitatively i am talking about number of chromosomes when i am saying qualitatively i am talking about the type of chromosomes so the two daughter cells are going to have the two daughter cells are going to have the equal number and type of chromosomes and that is why you are courageous enough you are courageous enough to call the let's say amoeba goes for binary fission you say clones have been produced so a clone word signifies that morphology anatomy physiology everything is absolutely similar to the parent cell as well as amongst the daughter cells and how is it possible that only phenotype is same now that you've studied genetics phenotype for the phenotype to be same both the quantity and the quality of chromosomes have to be same is this clear to everybody yes where will you find mitosis uh, we have already spoken about we have already spoken about what all areas? Take a onion root tip, take any meristematic, take a shoot tip, take a embryo, yeah, take embryogenesis which is happening. Now, what are the phases? There is prophase, there is metaphase, there is anaphase, 
and there is telophase. My aim or my destination is to distribute whatever I had replicated that is DNA cellular components equally equally into two daughter cells that is my aim and that takes transition or this sequential step again M phase is also sequential however short it is from prophase to telophase yeah now I am just showing you what you already know we are going to deal with every phase yeah every phase we will see diagrammatically now this you already know that interphase lot of growth happens yeah interphase lot of growth happens prophase the chro the chromatin fibers will attain definition because if I want to divide something equally, you ask your mama, you know what, um, divide a piece of cake equally into both of us. You need to have a piece of cake. So the piece of cake, this is just the batter that you have produced. All the amazing tasty batter with all that vanilla essence, the strawberries, the dates, whatever you want to put, walnuts, baking powder, yeast, eggs, whatever the recipe is, that's what I remember. Now, in prophase, which is again divided into many phases, we, we actually make the piece of cake and then we keep it on the table. Ah, this is what you're fighting for. That happens in metaphase. You keep it on the plate sequentially. And then your brother is here, you are here, or your sister is here, you are here. You guys wanted that piece of cake. Ultimately, it is divided into two equal parts in anaphase. And finally, you guys get it in telophase. Yeah, but in telophase, you make the batter again. Huh? So, this is in nutshell mitosis. Yes? Huh? Before we go to every phase, let's solve a question from 2021. All the people who are not attending the class are missing on this question. Answers in the chat box, everybody. So quick, huh? You guys have become quite uh, pros at answering questions, isn't it? Lovely. Always happy to see. Sayyid is amazing, yeah. Dwarakesh, hi ma'am, new, okay. I get so lost into the chat box. Then she will come again. Noor, Itachi, uh, Ramakrishna, Leshruti, wow. Parinkaha, wow, what beautiful names you have. I should make a list. Pava, Pava Dharani, okay, good, we are good with the chat box. So, the centriole undergoes duplication during, don't, uh, don't do this mistake. I just put this question to show you that first of all, that concept is important. And second, we should make sure that this is, this has been asked recently. Okay, let's go further now. What happens in prophase? So prophase, first thing is that I can't have the batter. So instead of chromatin material, condensation of chromosome, condensation of chromosome, condensation of chromosomes, condensation of chromatin to form chromosomes. happens or begins. Now one thing you have to understand in cell cycle is that the end product will not happen immediately as soon as the phase begins. Yeah. So you will see terms like this begins and by the end of prophase you will get proper chromosomes with sister chromatids. Okay. So every phase has transitions within it. For example, in early prophase in early prophase, there will be certain proteins called as condensin proteins, condensin proteins, which will act on these chromatin fibers. There will be some kind of, there will be some uh, um, um, dehydration also, water loss will also happen. And the chromatin fibers will start getting a definition, but they will still be elongated. Do you see that? Can you appreciate this? They will still be like this. They will still be like this. 
they they haven't become chromosomes yet i am not going to say that you see the centromere as of now is that clear to everybody so now the ends of chromosomes the ends of chromosomes are not visible are not visible in early prophase in early prophase aims previous year question incoming this is neat alert so they gather together and form a ball of wool appearance okay so this is called as the ball of wool appearance also called as the spireme stage also called as the spireme stage not given in ncert but very very important is everybody clear now the third thing is the centrioles which replicated now the problem is i need to start making the cake but i also need the two people within within uh, these people i have to distribute the cake so while you are fighting your mother is going to tell you you stand there you stand there don't fight i'm making the cake i'll divide it into equal parts is the ac off why am i feeling hot suddenly okay so in order to place you guys to separate you guys from fighting the process begins it has not happened this is usually the problem in mcqs from this chapter the examiner will be like oh where where will you see this particular structure where will you see chiasmata for example one of the recent questions i saw where will chiasmata be formed is different from where chiasmata is seen it is observational cytology is all observational okay so centrioles begin begin to migrate towards poles this is only and only the early prophase what you are looking at by the end of the prophase by end of prophase is this every chromosome by end of prophase should have two sister chromatids you guys know this since childhood this much we see okay so these are the sister chromatids of a single chromosome attached at the centromere or the primary constriction this is your end result primary constriction yes everybody then you have a short arm this you study in genetics also every chromosome has the short arm or the p arm there is a long arm do you see the long arm i'm just revising that yeah that is your q arm yes ma'am no problem then the end of the chromosome is called as the telomere do you guys know this you studied that yeah basics in genetics you study structure of chromosome without that you don't understand anything good please if you if you take in all this then you understand meiosis so this is going to happen by the end of the prophase so what happens in the mid prophase in the mid prophase or the middle prophase the key word is the sister chromatids sister chromatids will appear centromere will appear and kinetochore will appear kinetochore which is a protein rich disk protein rich disk shaped structure very very important will finally become clear because now condensation is happening condensation has happened has happened is complete let's write is complete condensation is complete categorically speaking it is complete 
till metaphase actually not in middle prophase let's write further condensation if i talk about absolute precise concept then in metaphase also some amount of condensation happens is this clear to everybody now what is happening with the centrioles here i'm concerned about the centrioles here now i'm going to do i'm going to clear out another confusion that you people go through so in a cell remember if this is the cell okay this is the mitre nucleus first of all let's understand from the chapter cell what is a centriole a centriole is a non membrane bound organelle it's a microtubular structure okay and every cell has this as the centriole there is a pair of centriole where the two centrioles lie at approximately right angles to each other if they are not bound by a membrane what are they bound with there is a certain section of cytoplasm that forms a circle or zone around them and it is a little isolated from other organelles so this is called as the centrosphere this is called as the centrosphere and these are the centrioles if you didn't know at 90 degree this is what we study in the chapter of cell okay now when i say because this is the language of the question whenever the examiner asks a question from centrioles he tries to trap you in the language of the question so what i decided i decided that i am going to do something i am going to make it clear for ever and ever yeah so there it goes behavior behavior of centrosome i wrote centrosome please don't break your head on this i can write centrioles also because because where did that go let's write it here again because centrioles plus centrosphere is equal to a centrosome that is why sometimes people call it as an organelle some is body that we use for lysosome also ribosome also some is a body some is a body and it is a prefix used for all organelles peroxisome so but you can't call centrioles if you ask very precisely you can't call centrioles as the organelles but centriole bound by a centrosphere that zone in the cytoplasm not any other structure is centrosome so what is the behavior of centrosome or centrioles so let's say this is your cell in the g1 stage that is where we started from the g1 stage this is the nucleus okay ma'am now this is the centrosphere okay ma'am what did i say centrosphere be very clear these are the teeny tiny centrioles so my cell at g1 has a pair of centrioles but one centrosome that is where he traps you hey tell me in g1 phase how many centrosomes are present how many centrioles are present remember practice this from today onwards so that you go get, don't get trapped into the uh, phonetics or language or whatever so there is one centriole sorry there is one centrosome and a pair of centrioles now let's move to the next phase so now the cell goes to the s phase big things are happening in s phase you told me ma'am that in s phase replication of centrioles is going to happen okay ma'am so now i have the centrosphere but instead of two centrioles now i have four centrioles ma'am so how many centrioles are present in s phase people either you can say four centrioles or you can say a pair of centrioles you can say pair of centriole pair of centriole but do you know centrosome is still one centrosome is still one now let's move on to the next phase are we scared you're not scared we'll see what happens in the next phase and the next phase categorically has to be the g2 phase ma'am 
that's what we did in the last one one and a half hour we did that so now what is going to happen is this centrosome look at the usage of term that i'm making the centrosome realized i am not carrying four centrioles now too loaded that is not me that is not my real nature to post negative comments in the chat section my real nature is of love peace truth and being happy so this is the nucleus this centrosphere is going to start dividing it hasn't divided it has not divided it has not divided it starts to divide you see the constriction that i have made i still i still in g2 phase also have a pair of centrioles two pairs of centrioles one centrosome and then what happens then the cell proceeds for and then the cell goes to the next phase this phase can be late prophase or pro metaphase there is a very fine line between the ending of one phase of cell cycle and the beginning of another phase of cell cycle so when somebody says hey at the end of prophase i have the astro bodies i have the condensed chromosomes i have the spindle apparatus formed it has not happened in the beginning of that phase it could have happened in the beginning of another phase called as the pro meta phase not confusing you further we are going to write both of them here yeah either this is late pro phase or late pro phase or it is pro meta phase yeah i have the nucleus and now this division has happened once again i have the two centrosomes very happy and i have this cell at pro meta phase has two centrosomes things have changed things have changed here i had one centrosome ladies and gentlemen one centrosome i have one centrosome here hmm in meta phase i have two pairs of centriol two pairs of centriol and i have two centrosomes please be very very clear with the terminology don't get trapped later on that is your complaint with this chapter it's not that difficult it's all cool cool now middle pro phase what will happen only i am just getting that structure what i told you with the kinetochore with the did we see that structure once again once again yeah here you will see this disc proteinaceous disc of kinetochore why is kinetochore important you've been studying from childhood that is where the spindle fibers will attach themselves yes ma'am this much we know we didn't know about the centriole centrosome okay we didn't know the phases but this much basic we know ma'am even if you don't know i'm here to tell you this is where see the role of protein cell loves protein for anything important yes okay centrosome centromere is bound by the kineto core now what happens in the late prophase ah late prophase has a lot of responsibility oh my god it is like how you study one night before the exam yeah five days ha huh, we will do ha huh, one chapter one day ha huh, ha two chapters and suddenly all the 26 chapters or 15 or 18 chapters whatever it is one night before we have to complete everything so late prophase complete condensation complete condensation and aster bodies are formed or asters are formed so what is happening what is a aster i made the cell i made the nucleus that's quite a large nucleus okay and i migrated the centrioles the pair of centrioles or let's call them centrosome number 1 and centrosome number 2 centrosome number 2 now i can comfortably use these terms na baba this contains two centrioles this contains 
Again, I'm going to repeat it like a broken record. Two centrioles. Two centrioles. What do I do? Habit is habit. Okay. Now, suddenly what is going to happen is they are going to radiate out. Dig, 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 dig. These are microtubules. Okay. These are microtubules. Very short microtubules. And this entire structure. Centrosome. Plus microtubules, microtubules is looking like a star, looking like wow. Hence it is called as the aster body, aster body. This is the initiation of formation of mitotic apparatus. It hasn't formed as of now. It hasn't formed. Tubules, microtubules are made up of a contractile protein, which is going to help in the movement called as the tubulin protein called as the tubulin protein tubulin protein this is going to start the puppet show it is like you know how puppets have the strings attached to the center i am going to have microtubules attached to the center or the centromere or the kinetochore of the chromosomes what else is going to happen now you know this nucleus the chromosomes are condensed they have attained a structure they are thickened i have i need space in my cell okay i want to focus on division so now this guy has to go this guy has to go along with all the other cell organelles we took their help in doing the job so now what will happen is nucleus nucleolus disappears nucleolus is the first one to disappear in the components of nucleus, this is not in the textbook, but nucleolus, they will always mention nucleolus disappears differently in the text. Why? Because nucleolus disappears for the first, it's the first one to go. Later on, nucleoplasm, if nucleolus disappears, then what happens? Nuclear membrane starts disintegrating. Nuclear membrane disintegrates. Disintegrates. Okay, and this causes the nucleoplasm to blend with cytoplasm. Apart from that, cell organelles disappear. So, all you have is a lot of space and a clear, clear cytoplasm for the dance of chromosomes to start. And at this point, yeah, I have this also. And they, these guys are waiting to connect with the chromosome so that I can start the puppet show. Cell division is nothing but the puppet show of chromosomes, I tell you. It is nothing but the puppet show. But this alignment or connection does not happen in prophase as people think it happens. Now, one more thing I would like to clear here is uh, that centrioles, let's write it differently. Let's write it differently before we go to metaphase. Yeah, let's write it here so that you have it in your notes. Mm, very very important point let's see the chat box what is happening in the world are you guys back Sraddha my back is aching here uh, Laharika Jeevan Priya going good cell division also like never before have you got that feeling yet sooner or later you're going to get that feeling so uh if you have not liked the session i would request you to like the session we will take a break after a while not to worry mm. Chat box is clearer on the phone here. These days I just use my phone for this. Okay. Ha! Ah. Now, to give you uh, more clarity, centrioles you've been studying from childhood are a feature of animal cell. Ma'am, they are absent in plant cell. They are absent. We've been mugging this up. So, in animal cells, there are two aster bodies which are formed at two poles of the cell. 
Do you agree with me? Why did you quit Akash? Why did I quit Akash? Because uh, I am not a stone. I am human. I move in life. I move on in life. I am not a mountain. Even mountain moves. We, we started in end game here. Growth happens in non-living world also. Even a mountain, new things are deposited and it grows in size. So there is nothing that is that stops or is stagnant in life. Things move. You are going to leave your home to go to a hostel, to get enrolled in a professional course, become a doctor. You leave home, you make home at a new place. So I left one home and I am at another place. That's this. what? Patience. I wish there was a pill for patience. Ma'am, you're not a mountain. Why you're not, not a mountain? Why you're a human being, ma'am? Are ma'am, aapka makeup ka kharcha nahi hota hoga. Kyunki aapko makeup ki zirurat nahi hai. Aap bhaak khub surat ho. Yaar, pata hai kya baat hai? This is an English channel. But, uh, कहीं और जाओ बेटर रहेगा बोरिंग है यहाँ पे सामान काम और कुछ दिस चैट बॉक्स इज सो एनोइंग या कूल पीपल्स यू आर एंटी कॉन्सेप्ट एंटाइटीज एंटी कॉन्सेप्ट सोम्स व्हाट इफ आई फॉरगेट समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव टू टेल यू यू नो द ब्रेन इज फिल्ड विद सो मच ऑफ कॉन्टेंट सो मच ऑफ थिंग्स टू टेल यू इफ आई मिस एनी and all of that is after looking at the previous year papers i'm trying to give you the best so when you guys do all these things no as amusing as it is to me i enjoy it <laughs> but i don't want you to miss out on information yeah so there are two astro bodies formed ah so the division in animal cell is called as amphiastral amphi means Amphi means two. Amphi means two. And in plant cells, there are no centrioles there. Plant cells don't care. They're very smart anyway. Botany is all about smartness. Yeah, this animal kingdom, no, is too complicated. Look at plant kingdom. Huh? Easy. I don't mean it. I'm kidding. So plants are show an astral division. And means absent because no astro bodies will be formed. There will be no astro bodies formed in plant cells. These terms I wanted to make clear. Now what happens in metaphase? It's very easy. In metaphase, the actual dance starts. The puppet show starts. But for the puppet show to start, I need to make a connection between the between the astro body which is present here, which is present here at this pole and this pole with the mighty chromosomes. So in pro metaphase assembly of mitotic apparatus. mitotic apparatus or spindle apparatus takes place now let's today clear out what is this mitotic apparatus or spindle apparatus that we must have seen or heard many times ha uh ha -huh. apparatus means multiple units in something telescopic apparatus microscopic apparatus la 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 this apparatus consists of mm hmm have a look have a look i just like this diagram very nice that's why i added two yeah so this is one why this this is one astro body we promised this is another astro body we promised this is still pro metaphase that is why you don't see the puppets or the chromosomes aligned at the center okay so 
there will be fibers coming from this pole here there will be fibers coming from this pole here ah look at each chromosome ah very important extremely important there is a spindle fiber ladies and gentlemen it is also made up of tubulin protein little bit of rna and some other proteins also mainly 95% is tubulin because now think about those strings which attach to the head of the puppet why head of the puppet that to middle mid line of the puppet because if you move the mid line of any body the hands will anyway hands and legs will anyway move so now these chromatids are simply the hands and legs of this body and centromere is where kinetochore is where i want to attach the spindle fibers yeah in any dance form also they will always tell you to control the mid body to control the center or core of the body because if your center is controlled then your moves will become precise any dance form it can be classical dance or the western dance forms right so here also one chromosome will receive the spindle fibers from two poles ladies and gentlemen this is one of the points which is often asked and students go wrong because this is different from meiosis where one chromosome will will receive only one spindle fiber from one pole but here the chromosome one chromosome is receiving two fibers from both the poles of the cell these fibers are called as the discontinuous or the tractile fibers tractile fibers so mitotic apparatus component number 1 component number 1 is tractile fibers component number 2 component number 2 there will be some fibers moving continuously from one spindle pole to another moving continuously from one spindle pole to another and these are called as the continuous fibers continuous fibers i have written the word tractile or chromosome fibers to make a distinction that these spindle fibers are different they are not attaching the two aster bodies so and the third component is the puppet itself so the chromosomes so the chromosomes isn't it this assembly ladies and gentlemen happens some authors say either at the late prophase and i say it is pro metaphase because you cannot expect metaphase to metaphase dish this is what the alignment happens um body life world doesn't work like that now in metaphase this is the end of the metaphase where yes the um, where yes they align very sequentially in the center so once again this and this once again this and this are we very clear yeah so in metaphase ladies and gentlemen in metaphase i want to give you one word i want to give you one word that is actually two please allow me two there is metaphasic plate meta phasic plate that is formed ma'am why did you have to say a plate is formed well well the problem is the problem is when so many centromeres imagine you've brought all the puppets together puppet number 1 puppet number 2 puppet number 3 puppet number 4 ha 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 made an entire line of those puppets okay and there are strings attached to the head to the middle of the head of every puppet yes you are not looking at the puppet from here you are at the top you are the puppeteer that's puppeteer right puppeteer everybody english puppeteer okay and you're looking at the puppets from the top so this continuous lines of all the heads is called as the metaphasic plate like i said cytology is about what you see more than what is hmm? so this metaphasic plate to tell you the very very precise concept is 
sequential arrangement of centromeres at the equator very important point here because in meiosis it won't be centromeres at the equator only the wise ones no i don't mean that others are not wise by wise i mean you are far ahead in your preparation you are you've studied the subject precisely that's what i mean yeah so metaphasic plate is formed by centromeres aligned together are we together in this did we write uh, continuous uh, tractile fibers let's write it here yeah let's not miss this two fibers per chromosome very important from each pole ha 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 life is good everything is fine do 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 mm -mm -mm. i think this is clearer you can see it happening here as well don't you make sense make sense now this phenomenon is called as biology is all about terms ma'am what to do this is called as i want you to remember it like this you know when you compress something it's you don't need the trick it's okay i didn't really feel it so let's not go ahead congression this is called as congression okay previous year question everybody see the chat box what's happening did you get it precisely amma no um i um was a fool to injure my back today sao see you're late is your chemistry class over bhai kiska doubt whose doubt is not answered that shraddha is consoling that person yeah i'm looking at the chat box see guys this chapter is super super technical either i can teach or i can just stand here and chit chat yeah that is not going to get you in the exam center trust me on that i have a lot to tell you i have a lot to help you let me do that be sensible vicky ha kar sakte hain yaar jaake kar lo anything else if the class is over sausi can everybody come into this class fish see um yeah this alignment of all the puppets in a line is called congression anything else you want me to repeat 100 times we are marching here oh very smart answers yeah get everybody here please tell people that there is a poor nice pankri ma'am also teaching botany get back to the class everybody since chemistry class is over green colored hearts are also there hmm any relation ma'am between the time taken by the cell in interphase and centriole duplication yeah why not all the time of s phase is divided into dna duplication and centriole duplication both happen simultaneously all right people let's uh, march further as you guys say huh? okay we're good with the chat box now ladies and gentlemen all the important points of metaphase are not over what is remaining who will tell me ah there is a question why do you think there is a question very good question love this i did not make up the question it is from 2021 everybody answers in the chat box the fruit fly has eight chromosomes and she is diploid her ploidy a eh, ploidy and number of chromosomes are different i am assuming that you've done entire genetics so you know ploidy and number of chromosomes are different i hope you know 
okay so now the fruit fly has eight chromosomes and she is diploid uh, in each cell that is a karyotype during the interface of mitosis if the number of uh, interface of mitosis if the number of chromosomes at g1 phase is eight ah uh, what would be the number of chromosomes after s phase the number of chromosome never changes if the number of chromosome changes the organism will die such a serious mutation will happen the organism will die of some serious disease that is not the intent so a temporary dna content increase happens in s phase the chromosome number will remain the same you have it that the concept is important and it has been asked in the previous year okay so now before we go to anaphase i want to speak to you about something again an eye opener metaphase is very important for everybody who is trying to do experiments on cell division because metaphase is the only phase which has all the chromosomes coming together at one point so if you want to arrest cell division the poisons of cell division are employed mostly at the level of metaphase once i have the condensed chromosomes and also if i want to study any chromosomal disorder that you would have studied in genetics talks talk about down syndrome talk about klinefelter syndrome the study of the chromosome is best done in the metaphasic state because the chromosomes are condensed they are not running anywhere so i can count the number of chromosomes also and i can see the structure also but when i say structure hmm, what is given in the textbook okay what is given in the textbook textbook says number and morphology of the chromosome can be seen so this is the importance of metaphase for a lot of things not only the clinical significance not only in medicine yeah number number and morphology morphology of chromosomes is studied to detect to detect chromosomal chromosomal the mendelian disorders are very important topic the chromosomal disorders or anomalies name some name some right now now there's a catch in the story there's a catch in the story when i say morphology we know morphology means size shape structure hmm. <laughs> it is never the shape of the chromosome that you study in metaphase okay the wise ones know that shape of the chromosome is studied in anaphase because shape will depend on because we know that the position of the centromere is going to change so it is only the number is done it is only the size and a little bit of structure overall structure if as a horticulturist plant horticulturist is the person dealing with the plants yeah um now i don't know if you understand but if you want to induce polyploidy that is more number of chromosomes because people do that thinking that there will be extra vigor in the future generation it is commonly done with plants oh if i make it 8n maybe the plant will have extra disease resistance maybe the plant will have such a tall stem i can then i'm greedy then i can sell it in the market at a higher price whether it's good or not okay so then cell division poisoning is done yeah so uh, polyploidy is induced induced at metaphase just between late prophase and metaphase you put the poison what is happening you have you have more n here you have polyploidy condition here and you are not letting them go to anaphase state 
yeah you have more the dna content here let's go to anaphase anaphase is easy what is going to happen if you want to divide you will have to divide through the midline like i said everything will happen pertaining to the midline you disturb the midline you disturb the midline the arms and hands will move so longitudinal division longitudinal division of centromere of centromere leads to every sister chromatid having its own having its own centromere and ladies and gentlemen the moment this happens that every sister chromatid has its own centromere i am called as the i am not called as a sister chromatid sister chromatid was called when i was with my other half now i am separated because there will be tightening that will happen with the help of remember the strings were attached to the midline of the puppet the puppet moves as the strings move isn't it so now this string is pulled up yeah pulled up and pulled down just to give you an idea so there is traction which is happening at these fibers the discontinuous fibers so who is getting pulled up the arms are not getting pulled up people it is the centromere ncrt says it beautifully that the arms of the chromosome follow the paths of the centromere this is led by centromere you move here the arms will arms and legs will move okay having own centromere hmm tractile fibers cause movement of centromere centromere to the opposite poles people who have joined now after your chemistry class please watch the missed se missed segment after the class hopefully no problem will come even if you have missed now boys and girls although centromere had assumed a central position when i was mm, in metaphase but now centromere can assume different position on this daughter chromosome now who am i i am not called as a sister chromatid i am nicely deservingly called as the moment i have my own centromere na baba this is a chromosome the moment i have my own centromere my own midpoint i become a chromosome so these are called daughter chromosomes now daughter chromosomes these daughter chromosomes will have varied shapes so if he will ask where will you see the size of the chromosome you will mark metaphase if he will ask where will you see the number of the chromosome you will mark metaphase but the moment he says shape of the chromosome you will mark anaphase so what are the different shapes very easy ha huh. easiest part give it different shapes yeah give it different shapes i can give it uh, an absolutely centromere in the middle that will be a v shape there you go yeah you give me a centromere a little away from the center a little away from the center i become l shape now i'm towards the end quite away from the center you give me that i become j shape i become j shape yes people and let's say the centromere is exactly at the end then i become i shape so these are the different shapes of anaphasic chromosome let's see the chat box if you guys are happy healthy fine and smiling oh there you go i have images for everything 
why do you guys want to be blocked yaar i have some favorites in the chat box the chat box has lit up hey, you write such long letters here in the chat box ma'am cooked well what cooked well what 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 cooked well sausi what is happening here what are you guys doing other than not sharing the session and liking the session mm ma'am sit for some time laharika you are a darling here yeah i'll sit i'll take a break and sit i'll take a break and sit my bad i injured my back yeah white colored hearts are good hearts Srinath is like, ma'am, I have done my work. I have done my karma. I have shared the session. I have hit the like button. Very well done. Thank you so much. Somebody named oxytocin, very regular to my class. Artificial intelligence. Please stay hydrated, ma'am. <laughs> Artificial intelligence. Nice. Maybe I know you. Do I know you? You ring a bell in my head. Ah. Oh. Vicky if you will spam the chat box you know you are going to be ignored that's how it works pad leti hu fir bhi tumhari chithi ma'am brofi is last me so it keeps moving away i have energy rich biomolecules in the cytoplasm theek hai che energy rich biomolecules have made i've made a lot of atp in interface i don't need mitochondrial respiration right now why did you guys make me blush i told you we're good with the chat box i'm not going to look at it now the shape of the chromosome this is examiner's favorite question la 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 he can give a diagrammatic question also he can give a analytical conceptual question also i've told you all kinds of mcqs if you want to solve if you want to apply today's knowledge of cell division in two questions you should join the special class tomorrow link is given in the description box if you have not joined the end game batch link is given in the description box use the code pm1 live i have to practice it to do it in one breath though so metacentric sub metacentric chromosome yeah this is the question he asks please don't go wrong metacentric chromosome what is the shape everybody v shape meta means middle sub means a little away what is the shape of the sub metacentric chromosome ma'am it is l shape no, not at all difficult ma'am it is making sense to us like never before ma'am acrocentric acro means towards the end so that becomes j shape chromosome please don't go wrong in such um easy questions telocentric chromosome ma'am it is absolutely at the terminal end telo means towards the end remember telomere the ends of chromosomes are called telomeres you remember that yeah so this is your i shape chromosome ma'am we will do it no please don't worry and lose your sleep over that next comes telophase the good good way to remember telophase and be very happy in life you you simplify the life if you want to be happy so telo is reverse of prophase reverse of prophase yaar now think about it this gives you a chance to revise what happened in prophase the very first thing in prophase was there is the cake batter make the cake we divided the cake into the fighting siblings yeah but now we want to get ready for the next division also we ne- we want the cakes to be made continuously so now there will be decondensation of chromosome 
decondensation of chromosome happy and i am going to go back to chromatin reticulum this is still happening in the parent cell yaar this is still happening in the parent cell <laughs> the nucleus who will come first nucleolus will come first remember this there is you've studied in genetics nor region satellite chromosomes ha 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 basics nucleolar organizing re organizer re regions it's always a tongue twister for me nucleolus appears here because i want these daughter nuclei to start functioning na baba these are not daughter cells these are daughter nuclei with their own chromosome nucleolus appears then nucleus nucleoplasm everything that is opposite of prophase of course prophase we divided into early mid and late prophase is the longest phase prophase is the longest phase out of the four phases i hope you know that okay so now nucleoplasm and nuclear envelope nuclear envelope reorganize and the moment this happens ah i got the most important thing i am going to be called as the daughter the daughter nucleus how many did i form i formed two i am happy organelles will also have to come back na baba organelles will also have to come back organelles like er these are the important ones these will be the why do you think textbooks mention they never say organelles like lysosomes peroxisomes Uh, will come back huh. and spindle fibers will spindle fibers spindle fibers will disappear i don't need any kind of traction to happen the puppet show is over yes so organelles like er because er and golgi are the most important ones one manufactures the other one processes so er and golgi and then mitochondria also come back comes back er and golgi reappear and needless to mention but we'll still write it as is the habit spindle fibers spindle fibers disintegrate you know wha what <laughs> there is a there is a concept in this also which will help you to understand plant cytokinesis when i say that mitotic apparatus is disintegrating because i don't want the puppet show to happen anymore mm, it is true for animal cells okay so just for the sake of precision these equatorial spindle fibers equatorial spindle fibers um spindle fibers remain in plant cells remain in plant cells ma'am why why have you added one more concept already it is so much you will, we will apply this i'm not going to leave it just like that i'm going to sew it into something meaningful these equatorial just in the middle just in the middle so the puppet is here okay you you're not uh, worried about all other strings but just the equatorial part middle part you're leaving some strings on we'll see why we'll see why and uh, i will give you a break i'm very good and considerate in giving breaks uh but after we finish mitosis which is which is nearing the end and we will begin meiosis after our dinners and uh, breaks however you want to use it so uh, this uh has got nothing to do with the technicality of it congratulations all the technical part of mitosis is over if you missed it owing to your chemistry class you can watch it that's the beauty of youtube you can always watch the session again now boys and girls these are the stages of mitosis in a plant cell yeah i hope it is uh visibly clear mm, these are quite the same na baba you look at the early prophase are they making sense uh, kind of 
sort of making sense. It's a cute diagram. No problem at all. So now, what do I see? Yeah, give it some time. I see the early prophase, okay, where there is a spirene stage, uh, a ball of wool appearance, the chromosomes are trying to condense themselves. See, with the help of this diagram, I am also revising the entire mitosis. So kindly pay attention from your busy schedule of chatting in the chat box. And then in mid prophase, the nucleus is still on in mid prophase. Oh, you know, textbooks don't say it, but diagrams say it. Further condensation of chromosomes takes place to give you sister chromatids in mid prophase. Ma'am wrote it categorically. And then I move on to the late prophase, and aha, I get the fully condensed chromosomes with the mighty centromere and the kinetochores, and the nucleus will disappear. The organelles will disappear. Ah, then comes the metaphase. But ma'am, you said that in early prophase and mid prophase and by late prophase, there should be assembly of centrioles at the opposite poles. But my dear children, let me remind you that here we are talking about an astral mitosis, which I spoke about. Yeah, maybe you guys ignored it that time. This is quite a chance for people who missed uh, the class owing to your chemistry class. So this is an astral this is an astral mitosis, isn't it? So I am not, <laughs> plant is not going to form aster bodies. But do you see how beautifully the mitosis is happening? Mm. Everything is absolutely smooth. This pole is absolutely empty, my dear children. It is absolutely empty. And this proves that an astral mitosis is not abnormal mitosis. It is pretty normal and smooth. There is clear cut alignment of chromosomes at the center forming the metaphasic plate. La la la. Anaphase is happening. No problem. Telophase has happened. I got daughter cell number one. I got oh, daughter nuclei number one. And I got daughter nucleus number two so today i want to share with you something very honest that when we study about centrioles we often come across the statement centrioles are important for cell division sayad my dearest you are there is no astral body i'm saying an astral baba and is absent. Astral is astro body. There is no astro body. Do you see any astro like structure formed here? Do you see anywhere? Let me just clear it out. Do you see? What you see, you remember. No astro body is formed. So, <laughs> astro centrioles do not help in cell division. Okay, the, the very formation of astrobodies has happened so that the pair of centrioles that the parent cell had can be given the pair of, that's why I cleared it like crazy, we cleared it like crazy. What is a pair of centriol, what is a centrosome, what is a centrosphere, you should be absolutely amazingly clear with these terms. I, as a parent cell, had a pair of centrioles. Now it's my duty to distribute it equally to the daughter cells. What do I do? I replicated it. I have two pairs of centrioles or I have two centrosomes. Ha ha. Now where do I put them in the cell? Oh, they are microtubular structures. Might as well make them, utilize them, make them participate in the formation of, in the puppet show. Or you could say, let's negotiate, okay? Or you could say that centrioles help in cell division owing to their microtubular nature in only animal cells. Because plant cells, that's why we love botany. <laughs> plant cells prove it that cell division can proceed, can happen smoothly with the help of, without the formation of aster bodies. Cool? It's okay? So see, what are you doing here? Nobody is making me blush. I told you, it looks like I'm blushing. I don't blush. Why are you guys always doing that? Who is 
blushing. This is called smiling. There is no blushing, Baba. Okay, let's go further so that you guys can get a break. But before the break, as is the norm, we always solve questions so that the concepts are heart bound. <sighs> yeah, I'm mostly smiling. I'm not always smiling, but mostly I'm smiling. What farmer and more? Oh, identify the... What, why are you guys doing that? You know, there are people who will try all the tactics, who will try all the ways, thinking we'll be able to provoke ma'am, we'll write some stupidity in her chat box. You're talking to a mountain. Told you. The chip is not, they, the assembler forgot to place the chip. Got the answer? I was waiting for the answer. Very good question. Need 2020. Mm. The board also likes to spam me sometimes. But I am going to smile through it. What about the G1 phase people? Identify the correct statement with regard to G1 or gap 1. Underline what the examiner is asking. The reorganization of all cell components takes place. Yes. Yes. That is very true. The cell is metabolically active. It grows but does not replicate its DNA. This is extremely important to understand that replication of DNA will happen only in the S phase. Nuclear division takes place. Bup. DNA synthesis or replication takes place. Bup. Got it? Very good. You guys are amazing. Let's go further. Do we have something? Ma'am doesn't know. Ah? Mo? This, see, this chapter is often not um, understood by people because you guys tend to learn the theory of it. So this chapter is not at all about theory. This chapter, like I've been saying since 5.03 p.m., is about what you see, observational. Cytology is all observational biology. There is experimental biology also. Yeah. So, you observe, you see and you learn. So, the behavior of chromosome during... The behavior of chromosomes during interphase and mitosis. This is a revision. See, have a look. This is a revision for everybody who went away for some time. In G1 phase, what happens? I have got nothing to do with the chromatin fibers. This is my chromatin reticulum with the original euchromatin and heterochromatin. I am happy. Then comes the S phase. Then comes the S phase. In this, suddenly... This was one thread people. This was a single thread people. Can you see that this was a single chromatin thread? This was a single chromatin thread. And now how, do, how many do I have? I have two chromatin threads. In G2 phase, what is happening? In G2 phase, the sort of more coiling has started. Because in pro phase, the shortening and thickening of chromosomes happens. So I, this is more like the ball of wool appearance that I'm so fond of. It's a beautiful concept. What do I do? But here you can see the ends properly. The condensation, like I said earlier, in the early part of the evening, will complete at metaphase. And I categorically get the clear-cut ends of the chromosomes, the telomeres, if you will, if you will. And the centromere, okay, and the kinetochore is hidden here. It is attaching the spindle fibers. Answers in the chat box, then we are going for a break. Even I need it. How many spindle fibers are attached to? How many tractile fibers, to be precise, are attached to one chromosome during metaphase of mitosis? And in anaphase, look at the centromere pulled by the 
repelled by the tractile fibers like this. Yeah, makes sense to us. I have cystochromidids. I have got nothing to do with cystochromidids in anaphase. Yes, so like how you say, done and dusted, that is what it is. Do we do cytokinesis or we take a break? What do you think? What do you think? Do you have the will to do uh, cytokinesis? I think I'll take a break. My L4 and L5 are screaming right now. Okay, so hmm. what is the time? Would you guys have dinner so early? I too would have. Uh, it's 7.38. Let's meet at 8.08. Have your dinner early. It's good for your body. Uh, make sense? Can we meet at 8.08? Okay, fine, Shraddha. This is just for you. 8.07. We meet at 8.07. Fine, whatever. You guys, you first make me smile and then you accuse me of things. Cool. We meet again. If your heart says so, brings you here. Attend the class again. Chalo. Bye-bye. 8.07 it is. 807 means 807. Yeah, I'll sit for some time.
get back everybody good to everybody who are already there once again repeat ma'am sure i will entire lecture in fact so there is uh, um i'm sure you guys didn't have your dinner yet you guys have your dinner very late and that's a bad habit they say and sing songs in it so it's a uh, yeah i found some ribbons i think i was decorating some corner and i thought could i use a ribbon to explain chromosomes to you it might fail the experiments fail all the time uh if it fails it's okay But if it doesn't fail, then it would lead to better understanding. What do you think? Should I try? Should I try? Break time is over. Is it not eight o seven? I didn't see the time here. I just had a made myself. Oh, it's eight o eight. I had a cup of tea. My tea is here. That's the fuel. If I could, I could survive on tea uh, for the next. I will shorten my lifespan that way by feeding on so much of uh, caffeine. So maybe more twenty years. Hmm? We can start. Call everybody. Call everybody who have the heart to join. Take what? Oh yeah, voice is low. I always forget to wear my mic. so sad always means always is it fine now so see white somehow people don't like white hearts huh what other color can you um Jeevan why do you say such things are you going to buy me a new one if the gift is on the way i can and i i really like um, collecting cups since i was a child i used to fight for my cup always Yeah that's my dinner I'm having with you guys. So um If your name is Krishna which is such a beautiful name there are people who devote their life to chanting. Why can't you put it as your ID here? Yeah, you know some of the comments go ignored. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to cytokinesis. Now, if you don't divide the two daughter nuclei that formed pre-break, if you leave the mother cell, if you leave the mother cell. if you leave the mother cell i'm not i'm not <laughs> if you leave the mother cell uh as it is without cytokinesis what you get is a multinucleated condition there you go one more click multinucleated condition it is also called as kernocytic condition 
coanocytic condition isn't it so there are many people who call cytokai uh, coanocytic condition as synchytial condition who is going to tell me the difference between the two yummy that's a yummy difference not in the syllabus i am not claiming that it is taught in the textbook but yeah it's basic biology basics of biology okay so in the absence of cytokinesis i will get a multinucleated condition which is a rather seen in certain plant cells if you talk about an endosperm you have studied sexual reproduction with me endosperm nuclear endosperm is a common endosperm that is rather a coanocytic condition isn't it nobody in the class has told the difference between coanocytic and synchytial a proper multinucleated condition where cytokinesis is absent is called coanocytic but synchytium as you seen in your skeletal muscle fibers if i'm correct me if i'm wrong skeletal muscle fibers both are multinucleated darling both are multinucleated but how they come to be multinucleated is different i've given you the hint your skeletal system in zoology your skeletal muscle fibers it, it, am i right about it they they show synchytium when two cells combine together let's put it that way fuse together that can also lead to multinucleated condition or if a cell has divided karyokinesis has happened karyokinesis has happened but cytokinesis which is the second phase of mitosis has not happened then also it's a multinucleated condition so now you know coanocytic or synchytium so now things are very easy animal cells have a very elastic cell membrane right so this is the animal cell it has the two daughter cells waiting to go free right something will happen what will happen is there will be microfilaments which will start collecting in the center and certain fibrous elements what is the difference between microtubule and microfilament what do we know man yes so microfilaments are made up of actin protein majorly again contractile in nature and there will be collection of microfilaments here because i want certain kind of movement or contraction to happen and fiber elements fibrous elements will collect together and their first uh plan of action the first thing that they do is they pinch the cell membrane inside they pinch the cell membrane inside so i am pulling this wall inside towards the center of the cell these are called as invaginations invagination towards center ah the word in itself tells me that it is towards the inner side of the structure not going to write it not going to write it just like mes mesosomes are invaginations of the cell membrane in bacteria this invagination is going to go deeper going to go deeper and become a furrow again it's not a scientific structure furrow simply means i'm making the cut towards the center i'm making the a sharp furrow is formed by these micro filaments is that clear so this word furrow always gets you a question and ultimately this structure will divide into two okay it will divide into two and what i get is daughter cells now you can call them cells because they will have and of course of course the golgi and er will come jumping and they will help them to form their membranes is that clear to everybody 
So now this is called as the mighty cleavage method. That is the question. It is called as the cleavage cytokinesis. Cleavage cytokinesis. Don't forget that. And he will ask you what is the direction of the cytokinesis. It is centripetal in nature because furrow is moving centripetally. Centripetally. Kindly remember these technicalities of the process so that you don't do a mistake. Next is your plant cytokinesis. Just for clarity and visual uh, memory, uh, have a look at the diagram. I don't think it's given in NCRT. You don't have to look at the other things. Yeah, just go to cytokinesis. So one more thing, like I said early in the evening, the end of a phase is not, um, is not uh, happening in one go. The end result. The previous phase starts moving towards the next phase. For example, we saw late prophase and pro-metaphase were aligned together. Similarly, it is quite common that cytokinesis and telophase, they happen together. See, you are, all of these are happening together. Yeah, we study them as different phases. So the furrow formation starts in telophase itself. This invagination will start in the, do you see this pink colored structure? Those are your microfilaments here. Those are your microfilaments. The actin rich filaments. They are going to pinch it and ultimately divide the cell. Now the problem is that in the case of a plant, I don't have a flexible um, cell membrane. I have a tough cell wall. What do I do if there is a tough cell wall? So now I cannot pinch or cause a invagination from the inside of the cell. Yeah. So what actually happens is if this is the if this is the plant cell in the center before the break I told you that the equatorial spindle fibers equatorial spindle fibers don't really disappear too soon they stay for some time so these spindle fibers said that you know what there is nothing else that can cut through this very 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 uh, hard cell wall so we will help you but we can't do it alone this remaining spindle fiber or this zone of the equator equator is called as phragmoplast is called as phragmoplast first keyword of the plant cytokinesis is the formation of something called as phragmoplast but phragmoplast asks see whenever something is urgent when something has to be done in the cell that requires a bit of a thinking and processing and smartness, who is called? Golgi is called. Golgi is a very uh, intelligent organelle. So they told Golgi because he can process, he can make, he can break the bonds and form new bonds and form combinations of molecules. Right. So Golgi was told to deposit um, pectates here, to deposit certain vesicles here, certain enzymes also here. No out of it, it's a complex um, concoction of various molecules. But all in all, what you have to remember is that those will be majorly the hard substance, substances of middle lamella, which is calcium. If you remember middle lamella, the outermost portion of the cell wall is made up of calcium and magnesium pectates. The calcium pectates are very, very tough. So now the Golgi vesicles are going to be deposited okay and then they are going to come together these Golgi vesicles a previous year question if you believe me was which organelle takes part in plant cytokinesis primarily it is actually you know what Golgi will never function independently it always it's a teamwork of Golgi and ER but primarily it will be Golgi so Golgi vesicles will fuse Okay, and now the phragmoplast becomes very hard. It becomes a plate called as the cell plate. So cell plate is nothing but the phragmoplast and the vesicles of Golgi. What do these vesicles contain here? These vesicles contain, like I said, calcium and magnesium pectates here. Pectates. That is 
that's what i wanted that is my original cell wall and now this plate this plate like structure has the ability okay to move outwards now how in animal cell the invagination was inwards towards the center this plate is going to make the cut outwards cool and thereby making the cut here and when it makes the cut here i am sorted because my daughter cells were waiting here <laughs> daughter cell number 1 daughter cell number 2 they are good to go they are happy now this is called as the cell plate method cell plate method cell plate method and like earlier we will understand the uh, direction of the cut that is centrifugal away from the center are we happy we are good cool all sorted now look at this this is just for visual clarity again in telophase what happens in telophase is we already in telophase we remove the spindle fibers from the poles we remove the astro bodies we said okay bye don't need you anymore there were astro bodies here we remove them but the central portion remains and the cell plate formation starts the golgi is called upon because in telophase if you remember pre break we said that organelles will come back here the organelles are called back by the daughter cells so now golgi as soon as he comes he is told hey please we have to do the and you know what in animal cytokinesis although we saw quite simply that oh it, there is an invagination and it deepens centrally and the cell is divided into two daughter cells but what do you think who's who's making those microfilaments there's always a role of organelles without organelles the cell cannot function so there is some er also involved all in all i want you to remember the difference between the plant and animal cytokinesis and we will move to meiosis now it's going to take maximum 1 hour to do meiosis so you're good yeah i'm not going to tire you a lot you guys are working so hard clearly uh, right in front of me so please solve this question the correct sequence of phases yeah yeah nothing helps then sarcasm helps the correct sequence of phases yaar come on come on in cell cycle everybody hmm I like the name Spirogyra a lot, you know. Just saying. Since you guys are very creative, yeah. So the correct sequence. This is very easy. Just to remind you, do you see again and again, again and again, there are questions coming from phases of interface. Let me tell you one thing. There is no medical entrance exam paper, and I say that because before NEET we had the individual university exams, we had the state PMTs. There is no paper that I've seen in last ten years that comes without a question on interface. Let me make it very clear for you. So here it goes. NEET twenty nineteen. Since evening, I have solved twenty one, twenty two, twenty twenty, and now it is twenty nineteen. So. now it's your choice to understand that every time mam is solving interface questions somehow so it is g1 s this is wrong the answer is wrong it is g1 s g2 and m phase now what is the significance of mitosis i don't need to tell you but i have gathered the points here just to revise the significance of cell division that i told you in early evening you just take out you just delete gametogenesis or the sexual reproduction from that isn't it and then we come to think that mitosis is everything that is sustaining my body na baba next morning tomorrow if i if i want my body to function properly i need new rbcs here i need new wbcs here yeah my bone marrow should be functioning properly my uh, um skin cells should rejuvenate isn't it so growth we spoke about this maintenance of surface volume ratio this is very like i said in the evening 
In fact, a disturbance in the surface volume ratio is one of the triggers or factors to control cell division. If this ratio is not disturbed, na, cell division might not happen also. Kern plasmic ratio, maintenance of cytoplasmic ratio, same thing, regeneration, repair, reproduction. Now, ma'am, you are seeing mitosis and here you are seeing reproduction. Oh, for reproduction, we know meiosis. Who will tell me in the chat box what am I talking about? Why did I mention reproduction while talking about mitosis? Tell me. Tell me, anybody who has the heart. Very good, Priya. Thank you. Fish sea. Very good. Awesome. For asexual reproduction, what about unicellular organisms? What about chlamydomonas? Because in unicellular organisms, reproduction and growth are synonymous. Repair. Healing opportunity for differentiation. Differentiation will happen if you will give me more cells, na baba? If there is no meristematic tissue, if you are not making meristematic tissues continuously in the plant body, how will I make parenchyma xylem flowing? Isn't it? All these points are ultra clear. Another question before we start meiosis from May 2019. Just want to show you what kind of questions are asked. See, this is again a question from interface. I didn't do anything. That's what the examiner is stuck at. So when I say 4 to 5 MCQs from cell cycle, one MCQ is done, that is interface, no matter what. Second MCQ could be from the shape of chromosomes in anaphase if you ask me. One more thing I want to tell you, did I mention it in the evening that if aligning the metaphasic chromosomes in the center is called as congression, then separating them in anaphase is called as disjunction. Is it clear? So make a note of disjunction if we have not done that. Of course, it is not given in NCRT, but these are the few 5 to 10 percent points that can come outside NCRT. Better to learn now than to regret later. Regrets are not good. So disjunction is anaphasic event. Cool. Now, this is the question I spoke about quite early in the class when I began the session. Yes, yes, makes sense. I told you that this is 2019 where everybody got uh, wounded or rather affected by this particular question. Uh, they shouldn't have done that, but the uh, answer is suspension. Sorry for the wrong answer. Okay, now we begin meiosis. So, children, if you have attended and you are thorough with mitosis, then you compare meiosis. When I say meiosis, it is a double division, yaar. It is a double division because it happens in two phases. I cannot call it a reduction, uh, I cannot call it as an equational division. I am not going to call it as an equational division. It happens only in only in diploid cells. Why? Why only in diploid cells? In the evening, I cleared the concept of ploidy. I am again want, I am again going to clear it to you. Have a clear look so that you never get confused whenever you study the chapters of reproduction, genetics, all of that. Now, a diploid cell, at any given point of time, you and I are diploid, right? We say we have 46 chromosomes. That means, Except the germ cells in my body, yeah, my cells have this. This is the picture of one of my cells. Okay, so this is the cell from Papa. This is the cell from Mummy. For everything, every cell of my body is made up of one one chromosome from father and mother. So now this is the two end cell. Look at the ploidy. I have one chromatid. I have one chromatid from papa because when gametogenesis happened in father, 
they gave one one chromatid and when those gametes made my cells when i the zygote was formed i got one one copy now there is let's clear it forever and ever without any confusion there is dna 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 so what is the dna content at any given point of time in my body per cell if i am 2n there is dna of papa that is c there is dna of mummy that is c so i am 2n and 2c i am 2n and 2c oh man with me on that is this clear to everybody 2n and 2c now since this division leads to reduction of chromosome number reduction of chromosome number to half to half that is the speciality of meiosis i can i can do a half of 2 and 2n i can do a half of 2 and 2n but if i take a haploid cell which has we saw in the evening a haploid cell is just this much is just this much which is the case of a gamete then the dna content is c there is no way that i can have n by 2 in the existence is that clear now the division of meiosis has its significance for sexually reproducing organisms sexually reproducing organisms need this division because sexual reproduction is biparental if you want to bring two parents together i told you while teaching you sexual reproduction the creator must have thought that you know what we want recombination we want variation we want change then only evolution will happen but if you want to bring two parents together you cannot disturb the number of chromosomes in the future generation because you want a human child of a human being you don't want an alien so sexually reproducing organisms need this for two purposes yaar number 1 to keep chromosome number constant chromosome number constant for all generations and number 2 to bring about variations in the future generation i want variation in the various traits and that happens owing to the crossing over mechanism which we are going to see now okay so recombination yes ma'am you guys are very good with genetics recombination leads to variation and variation leads to evolution which is like the very basic that i am telling you good now in this phase what happens in meiosis what happens is dna replication will happen once don't think that if it is a double division let me make it very clear dna replication will happen once that is the rule nobody can do any change or any uh interference with dna replication the moment you do anything with dna replication the person is dead or the mutation is so fatal that you don't know what kind of serious disease can happen okay so dna replication happens once but the n division happens twice why ma'am why m div m division is happening twice why can't i do it in one go because have a look what will happen here is since you guys have studied the basics of interphase and i told you interphase has the same mechanism whether it is mitosis or meiosis if we apply the same mechanism na baba now i have two n cell you applied the mechanism to n cell so what is going to happen in prophase since the chromatin material will replicate like nobody's business in s phase of interphase we saw that in the evening if you didn't see that please go back and see that because otherwise you will never understand this chapter right so more chromatin material more chromatin material now i am in this state have a look at this cell ah 
what to do this is abnormal this is not the normal state yeah so now the papa's chromosome has got one extra chromatid in s phase this is the condensed chromosome when i as and when i go to prophase i will see this state of affair right so now what is going to happen look at the dna condition okay so i am still n and n the chromosome number is not changing i am still n and n that is okay i am a 2n person i am still a diploid person don't think that your chromosome number will change in s phase then you will not remain a person <laughs> but the dna content will pack in every chromatid that is the rule dna content will pack in every chromatid so now instead of 2c r instead of 2c which was normal now i have become 4c what to do i am not allowed no cell is allowed to carry the two chromatids plus no cell is allowed to carry heavy dna content of 4c now in order to get this condition to n and in order to normalize this to c i need two divisions here is that clear so you have mighty meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 before i start the technical part meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 meiosis 1 is complicated it is divided into a lot of phases because i have the responsibility of making the chromosome number half which i am going to do in meiosis 1 also i have to generate recombinants in my life and that also i am going to do in meiosis 1 so now boys and girls remember one thing that meiosis 1 is called as the heterotypic division heterotypic division because in this case your daughter cells at the end of it or daughter nuclei are not the same it is not homotypic they are they are not resembling the parents you don't use the word clones here or even each other because recombination happens okay recombination happens and chromosome number also changes chromosome number also changes it is half both the important things are done in one go and meiosis 2 meiosis 2 is very similar to mitosis and that is called as the homotypic division is that clear to everybody make sure you know this heterotypic and homotypic division happy so another name if you want to give let's say he will try to trap you with another see this chapter the questions are not difficult it is a matter of language like examiner trapped in 2019 owing to the language of the question na baba sayed you are doing great here this could be called as the reduction division yes i'll tell you the reason why i don't use these terms personally it's a personal thing uh, meiosis 2 can be uh, textbook wise you can call it equational division textbook wise uh, <laughs> to solve the questions you can call it equational division why i don't call it i didn't write it because when i said equational division i promised that i am not only going to keep the chromosome number constant but the type also yeah but here a lot of recombination is happening now let's talk about prophase 1 ha ha everybody is scared of prophase 1 aren't we Uh, ready everybody if you have not paid attention till now very good but it is important to pay attention now longest phase of cell cycle why do you think i'm so audacious to call it the longest phase of entire cell cycle 
because you give me all the phases of mitosis you give me all the phases of meiosis of course i am excluding interphase i am talking about the m phase this is longer than the prophase of mitosis also now what do you see right in front of you we will compare it with the prophase of mitosis in prophase of mitosis we said if we want to divide something into two equal parts we need to bake the cake from the batter the batter was the chromatin reticulum so i want the condensation of chromosome but here in prophase of mitosis this evening i said it is not the condensation of chromosome is not going to happen in one go it begins in early prophase goes more in middle prophase and kind of ends by late prophase but here this transition is even longer because this prophase one is much longer and complicated than the prophase of mitosis because in prophase one only i said in meiosis one only you're getting half the number of chromosomes and you're getting uh, recombination in prophase one you get the recombination very very nicely is it clear so now in prophase 1 the first phase is the leptotene phase is the leptotene phase certain basics will remain clear will remain as it is because first of all i have to start the condensation i have to start the batter is right there i have to do the preparation to bake the cake secondly if i want everything to be aligned at their respective positions if i want the cell division to continue the assembly of aster bodies is them going to opposite poles is very very important so in leptotene condensation begins and in leptotene you see elongated chromosomes elongated chromosomes elongated chromosomes yes you have the centromere also here now these elongated chromosomes are going to come to a stage called as the bouquet stage bouquet stage yeah they are going to all these chromosomes are going to come at the at one side one side of the nucleus the nucleus is still there it hasn't disappeared so they form a sort of a bouquet on one side of the and here somewhere the centrioles from the s phase are dancing how many centrioles do you have you have one two pairs of centrioles i cleared it or in other words you have two centrosomes so overall under the microscope it looks like a bouquet now something very very important happens as the condensation happens in leptotene stage i see centromere like i saw in mitosis but in this case i also see a beaded appearance are you able to appreciate it i saw a beaded appearance these beads are called as these beads are called as the chromomeres which is a characteristic feature of leptotene of meiosis because they represents the genes or they represent the genes on chromosome and might as well why not so these are a string of you can write beaded appearance string of beads we used to call it we used to call it <laughs> is that clear and in leptotene don't underestimate the power of leptotene no condensation hasn't happened no i cannot see the uh, rounded ends of the of the chromosome very clearly no honestly no the aster bodies aster body will not form so soon so let's write um uh, centriol pairs begin to migrate begin to migrate to opposite poles and they will do this dance for most of the prophase the second phase of prophase is zygote in people 
Ready? Please write the keywords. Oh, so I have an image for bouquet stage also. How lucky can you be? Bouquet stage people. Do you see that? Do you see how the elongated ends have come together? There goes the bouquet. Bouquet of flowers. Yes, do you see that ER will still remain? All the organelles are intact, intact. They have not disappeared. Not so much will happen in one go. Next is the zygotine stage. One of my favorite stages. I don't know why. Zygotine people. Now, the problem is, you said that prophase is meant to cause crossing over between the chromosome of mother and father because I want to generate recombinants. Yes, that was your aim. So now it is extremely important, it is extremely important to bring the maternal and paternal chromosome together. Then only I can tell them to do crossing over. But they are not ready to be together. They say, they say yeah, we want to dance. It's our show. Cell division is all about chromosomes. It's our show. In order to bring them together, I need to create a sort of a attraction between them. And that attraction is a lot of things, but you call it a nucleoprotein complex. Are we together? Now in zygotine, you appreciate that when you told them to come together, the pairing happens of something called as homologous chromosomes. So let's understand what are homologous chromosomes. So, lateral pairing, lateral pairing or the parallel pairing, parallel pairing of homologous chromosomes is the key feature of this phase. Ha ha. Is that clear? So, this is your nucleoprotein complex. Nucle nucleoprotein protein complex means nucleic acid plus protein. Yes. Conjugation of. And when I use the word complex in science, it simply indicates that there is more than you have been told. There are a lot of things in a nucleoprotein complex. Okay. And these are the homologous chromosomes. What are homologous chromosomes? Well, people, take this seriously. That I want the chromosomes which are exactly similar or mirror images of each other in terms of the location of genes Yes, because I follow the law of segregation, independent assortment, everything. All the Mendel laws will be followed. So I need to bring them together carefully. The position of genes, their size, their structure, position of centromere, everything is absolutely same. So that when they exchange the genetic material, there is no chaos. I want good recombination to happen, okay? So, you know, if, if something is disturbed in the crossing over, it can lead to, it can lead to a nuisance. It can lead to uh, disorders, okay? So, chromosomes with similar, with similar size, Location of genes, centromere are bound, are uh, placed together with 
nucleo protein this is a previous year question now this process most important question process is called synapsis is called synapsis don't forget extremely important and the homologous chromosomes plus the nucleoprotein complex i have written the short forms yeah chromosomes plus this is people end up calling this structure as the synaptonemal complex i disagree this entire thing is called synaptonemal complex so homologous chromosome plus nucleoprotein complex is synapto nemal complex and now the dance is going to be around this remember why you brought them together one of the most common uh, questions is about synapses there's another question that i love about uh, zygotin and the examiner should ask is have a look here have a look here again cytology is all about observation they are so together i have created some distance between them ha huh. i have created some distance between them to show you but they are very very together ha huh? they are called as bivalence they are called as bivalence so he can see he can ask where are bivalence formed is that clear so you will write here you can call them as bivalence as well bivalence and boys and girls another question he will ask you what is the number of bivalent in zygotin so bivalent is always half the number of the total chromosomes isn't it if i have 46 chromosome bivalent would be 23 if i have 16 chromosomes bivalent would be half that that is easy right no formula required now the real deal has to happen that is packetin now ma'am what is happening to the centrioles and the organelles and you we studied so much in prophase of mitosis that nuclear envelope disintegrates by late pro prophase it was so quick please understand that this process is rather elongated so they have begun their journey but no no in packetin also i am at the third stage centrioles astrobodies have not formed completely they are somehow trying you know nobody is listening to them ah uh, cell is like we oh, yeah, i'm busy i have to do crossing over what are you saying we'll do we'll see later formation of astrobody spindle apparatus nucleus is still there organelles are still there makes sense so now what happens in packetin packetin is the time of crossing over people at this point of time the bivalence will shorten more i want very nice definition i want very nice shortened structure with clear ends to cause the crossing over so this is what i had this is what i had and now the bivalence shorten you are right if you are thinking if you are a good student you might think ma'am did not use the word tetrad yeah most of the people use the term tetrad at the stage of zygotin because if you can uh, count two bivalent homologous chromosomes you can easily count four chromatids also no why aren't you calling it tetrad so i personally use the word tetrad even after packetin because see here also bivalents are shortening okay so if he will ask you tetrad are seen in which phase and he gives the option as zygotin you can mark it you can mark it all right so now what will happen is there was a nucleoprotein complex here nucleoprotein just to keep them together something called as recombination nodules will appear at not all the sites but some sites of these chromosomes homologous chromosomes yeah these are recombination nodules 
recombination nodules appear on homologous chromosomes these nodules contain recombinase recombinase enzyme complex please understand that it's not a single enzyme are you able to appreciate this color no ma'am enzyme complex when i say enzyme complex it is made up of a multiple lot of i change the color it is made up of multiple enzymes what are the enzymes involved here you have studied molecular biology and that is why i am taking this liberty to name enzymes like endonuclease this is not given in ncrt but you should add it because examiner tomorrow will say hey you guys know the molecular scissors you guys know what happens so there is endonuclease there is unwindase and there is ligase or r there is r protein also but these are the major components is that clear to everybody now this endonuclease enzyme is going to do its job what is the job if i want them to cross over let's say i want this fragment to cross over and attach here i need space have a look at the screen and nowhere else for a little while 3 minutes is what i ask for if i want this fragment to come at this fragment at the risk of failure i don't have the scissors ah uh, i if this is a playground i thought i'll not uh, exercise the thought in my mind but i got the scissors it's quite meant to be so see this is one chromatidia okay this is one chromosome one of the members of homologous chromosome okay now this is the next member of the homologous chromosome yeah and they are placed laterally i'm going to try my best if it works it works if it doesn't work still something will work they are lying parallel here okay they are ready to cross over but baba if you want this to cross over this we need to make the cut we need to create a space isn't it so now in order to make that cut cut this fragment from here and give it space here i need endonuclease which is called as the nicking it will do the nicking part am i right or wrong you've studied molecular biology quite well break the individual chromatids and now i want to disengage this fragment disengage this cut fragment from its own chromosome i have to ask the mother's chromosome hey i've made the cut now let me disengage and go to the father's chromosome so that separation of this fragment to arrive here is done by unwindase unwindase will separate the fragment separate the cut fragment and it will aid it will finally let the crossing over happen let this happen let this happen let this happen yeah so crossing over is brought about by brought about at this stage but now i have reached the other chromosome now i need to merge here i need somebody to paste me here isn't it so that is done by ligase called as reannealing called as reannealing i'll i'll show you with the diagram also hmm? but do you see that this crossing over has to happen between the non sister chromatids non sister chromatids because then only the mixing of characters or recombination will happen if i take a strand of father's chromatid 
and I take a fragment of mother's chromatid, then only the recombined chromatid will be formed. So needless to tell you that crossing over, this is the main event that I wanted to write at the last. Crossing over between very very important basic non-sister chromatids and it is quite the common sense. Yeah, let's try it with the ribbons since we have them. So this is the homologous chromosome number one. There comes the scissor, the endonuclease cut. Now <laughs> that fragment has fallen down but chromosomes don't fall down like that. Hmm. And then I have the other sister chromatid. Oh, there you go. There you go. And now I detach them from their parent chromatid and I bring them together. Yeah. So the glue here. Now this I have attached the entire chromatid, right? But that's not what you will do. You will just take a fragment of the non-sister chromatid, the black ribbon. You will take a fragment. Okay. This separated fragment with the help of Let's say this was the father's chromosome, the pink ribbon. Can you see? Can you see? This is the father's chromosome. This non-sister chromatid, pink ribbon is the non-sister chromatid. Black ribbon, non-sister chromatid, different colors. Mother's chromatid, one fragment I have separated with the help of unwindase. I made the cut with the help of endonuclease. Now it comes here. It comes here. Let's ligate it. With the glue, since we have glue in the studio, might as well use it. There is no tomorrow. Who knows? Oh. There we go. There we go. This is your recombined chromatid. Or your daughter chromosome. Yeehaha. Do you see that? I wish and I hope, yeah, that you are able to appreciate the two colors. So you have... I told you it can fail. So you have the ligase enzyme ligating the two. So forget it, uh, I mean glue is the ligase. But see now this new ribbon will have the feature of the black ribbon. Ignore my nail paint. My nail paint is nice. It is just under the camera it looks a little more uh, bluish because yesterday you guys commented ma'am your nail paint. Wow. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, before the glue gives up, appreciate on the camera, this recombined chromosome will now have what we wanted. Yeah, it will have the character of the pink ribbon. Now, it's a multicolor, I mean, it's a bicolored ribbon, pink and black, which was earlier only pink, father's chromosome. Mother's chromosome, once again, people, father's chromosome, mother's chromosome. I will make a cut here in this chromosome. I will make a cut here in this chromosome to create space for this chromosome. See how I told you I haven't shown you in the parallel manner because I have two hands yet to grow two more pair. Maybe it will happen one day. Cool hair. Got it. Got the idea. Now both black and pink. At least you got the idea of recombine. I might have the image for that. If you oh, you guys are very lucky today. Yaar. You guys are very lucky. Look at this. We can hold them parallelly, like I showed you, non-sister chromatids. First of all, starting from the basic non-sister chromatids, blue and red, pink and black ribbon. Pink and pink won't have any job to cross over. Cross over because it happens in this manner. A cross is formed. Yeah. So now endonuclease will make a cut in the red ribbon and blue ribbon. Then only the recombination will happen. Non-sister. This fragment will have to leave this chromosome. That is done by unwindase. And it will come, it will cross over. It will go to the next, to the... Uh, laterally aligned chromosome 
with the non sister chromatid that is unwindase and then you see ligase has that is my glue my glue will paste the red fragment that endonuclease had cut and unwindase had separated to the blue one and similarly the blue fragment gets ligated to the to the red chromosome and these two are now going to become great human beings hopefully that's what parents expect out of you that you are recombined so much so much uh, hard work cell had done to recombine the best of mother and father or do some better things cell biology you will only understand if you look at the diagrams that is why every concept that i have brought in the class is supported by a by a image cool next now the main job is done now i am moving towards making sense out of prophase okay i got the recombination but i have to still make the chromosome number half how do i do that people in diplotene diplotene what will happen these homologous chromosomes have no business of being together if i keep them together i could never produce cells with half the number of chromosomes i need to separate them the moment what what will i do i will dissolute the attraction factor between them which was the nuclear protein complex isn't it so dissolution of synaptonemal complex and particularly the nucleo protein complex there will be enzymes which will dissolve the nucleo protein structure and as they start diverging this cross that had appeared in packetin only becomes more evident in diplotene because now they were like this yaar okay little bit of crossing had happened look at my wrists this this had happened now this cross is well, nobody is taking it seriously okay they were they were together they were very close together now suddenly they have to say goodbye they have to separate the moment they begin to separate this becomes evident okay so chiasmata like i said in the evening chiasmata formation had happened in packetin if somebody will ask you but they become visible chiasmata or sites of crossing over sites of crossing over become evident okay they become evident is that clear to everybody in diplotene diplotene becomes the longest phase as certain animal cells rest in this phase who will give me the example human reproduction is long over yeah one of the major concepts for months or years it is seen in lower animals also so prolonged prolonged diplotene anybody who will tell me the name of prolonged diplotene outside the syllabus but if you know prolonged diplotene is seen in oocytes so a females oocytes rest in diplotene stage up until puberty so she is born with all the future gametes you must have said it yes dictyotene laharika very good you you are amazing here dictyotene so when cells rest in diplotene stage they decondense these cells which stay in prolonged diplotene you guys know right 
so these oocytes will come out of diplotein at the time of puberty so think about the egg that a female has to form so one is they they wait up until puberty let's say the age of puberty let's say 11 years 12 years the oocyte is waiting in diplotein my god you think it is just going to wait no it is going to start forming rna to start going to form uh, proteins and it is going to decondense so those are called as lamp brush chromosomes lamp brush chromosomes these are decondensed diplotein chromosomes the chromosome is like now i don't have any job of being condensed or have the chromatids you're not taking me further you're not dividing me further yeah so here personally i feel diplotein is the stage where you see tetrads very clearly before they say goodbye before they say goodbye this is the most condensed state of homologous chromosomes both of them ready to say goodbye they are recombined everything is done now comes diakinesis diakinesis is terminalization of chiasmata i can't keep the homologous chromosome in this cross state yes so they disappear this x shaped structure it was like this now i'm separating separating look at my hands here this was chiasmata these are the homologous chromosomes yeah to make you understand yaar yeah. ha huh? these are the homologous chromosomes they are already away they are they they are ready to go okay they they are diverging and this cross is coming in between so they go 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 this is all happening ha huh? this 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 is called as terminalization terminalization of chiasmata of chiasmata are we together that is the only thing you have to remember okay is this clear lamb brush chromosome is a question of genetics as well as cell division whenever a concept is uh, uh, part of two units it is very very important and it has a lot of chances to be asked now people remember that you are still in prophase you cannot go to the next phase till number 1 you assemble your astro bodies they are waiting centrioles are like ee start the puppet show we are getting bored so all of that dance will happen do you remember from early evening this will happen yaar this will happen oh this has to happen this has to happen and before i go to the meta phase the assembly will happen there you go there you go there you go there you go both tractile and continuous fibers will be formed continuous fibers will be formed there you go there you go is that clear but there is a difference here something else also happens which will happen in meta phase the assembly of the mitotic apparatus i am not going to settle down for doing it in prophase i will not okay even if the textbook will say no it doesn't happen like that so diakinesis is just terminalization of chiasmata disappearance of disappearance of organelles everybody is told to go away because we need a lot of space in the cell and a clear zone for the dance of chromosomes for their alignment at the equator and now we have two sets of chromosomes what to do we need more space and there will be disappearance disintegration of nucleus even nucleus is told to go at who will disappear first people who were attentive in the evening would be able to answer this hmm if i talk about the nuclear components thank you nawab's word if i talk about the nuclear components who will disappear first disintegration of nucleus and formation of aster body i have spoken in detail like nobody can speak about it that was too much of detail i've spoken about the entire behavior of centrosomes you'll get it in your notes if you were not there in the evening 
it should be very clear what is an astro body like so clear so formation of astro bodies okay people next meta phase 1 beautiful beautiful what do you see what do you see mm. so now the maternal and paternal chromosomes are away yeah they are recombined no doubt they are recombined mm. look at the don't forget the recombination they are recombined they are recombined and before they completely separate and the chromosome number becomes n again so excited they have to come together at the metaphase but this time what will happen there will be two equatorial two metaphasic plates will be formed two metaphasic plates will be formed in the evening i formed the metaphasic plate the very definition of metaphasic plate was alignment of the centromere alignment of the centromere when they all align at the equator but in meiosis it is the arms which align at the center it's weird but it takes place yeah so arms of chromosomes arms of chromosomes i'm still calling them chromosomes huh align at equator at equator okay what are, what else happened in the evening one chromosome my people one chromosome received two spindle fibers from each pole now one chromosome is going to receive one spindle fiber one tractile fiber from one pole okay so if this is the chromosome i'm just attached to one tractile fiber one tractile fiber this is asked as if this question comes your paper will have this will be counted as a moderate to difficult level of question moderate level it's not clear in ncert if you ask me okay so make a note of these precise concepts so that you don't go for negative marking so one tractile fiber per chromosome per chromosome are we very clear this is the difference this is the difference have you noted it down everybody and the assembly of that was the last point i was looking for assembly of mitotic apparatus sorry meiotic apparatus spindle apparatus let's call it better will happen what is spindle apparatus this also i cleared in the evening you should never be confused spindle apparatus is not just spindle fibers ah it includes the astro bodies it includes the discontinuous fibers it includes the continuous fibers which are going from pole to pole the continuous fibers everything all of this what you see is the mitotic apparatus so again just like the mitosis of the um just like the metaphase of the mitosis you are able to see the shapes of the chromosome especially in this case it will tell you a lot about the chromosomal disorders yes now let's solve a question from 2021 answers in the chat box everybody come on people after metaphase we go to anaphase 1 which is very easy see after you understand prophase 1 na baba your chapter is like a breeze zig it goes away now there is nothing difficult if you have any doubts in phases of pro phase 1 let me know everybody agrees to one i also agree <laughs> which stage of meiotic pro phase yaar see it is a 2021 question 
so i specifically picked up questions of meiosis separately from uh, recent years and mitosis separately from recent years guys if you want me to solve teach give you ncrt line by line decoding all at once then you should be a part of the end game batch which has started yeah and currently the price of end game batch they have thankfully they have not increased too much here where is it what is the price today evening only they told me it is running at 5599 if anybody hasn't joined you might think why should i spend this money yeah you easily spend this amount when you go for your birthday party or somebody else's birthday party but this kind of detailed content and it's not just detailed it is neat centric there is nobody who can escape a selection if you're dedicated to this level of content this level of question solving yeah the teachers are working really hard they are solving previous year questions they are giving you theory you have attended all the classes hmm? so this team you are very lucky that this team has come together and this is an exclusive english batch the only crash course batch in the country which is exclusively in english so make the right choice because making the right choice takes you to places otherwise you are stuck in your own muddle and being stuck is not a good idea discomfort will happen doubts will happen whenever you are trying to do something great first thing will be doubt about a good thing oh this is too good why uh, okay which stage of meiotic prophase shows terminalization of chiasmata ah we saw that it is diakinesis how do you remember that how do you remember diakinesis as the terminalization of chiasmata any tricks any tricks people no mm mm kinesis is from kinetics kinetic energy kinesis movement 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 oh. Oh. think about it start devising your own uh, tricks now we come to anaphase disjunction will happen of oh how is it different from the anaphase of mitosis disjunction happened there also disjunction we said we said in anaphase of mitosis that there is disjunction of sister chromatids ha huh? there was there was longitudinal division of centromere and each sister chromatid got its own centromere and became a chromosome i am blessing you with a question on this if i am the examiner i would put a question disjunction is going to happen but of not chromatids homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes happy good make sense to us and if i am moving homologous chromosomes finally they are saying tata bye bye thank you very much nice to meet you it was lovely to have you here every time you meet anybody you have to say that then this junction of homologous chromosome this means i don't need to divide centromere ah i love this question <laughs> oh i love this question i wish this question comes every year so no division no division no division of centromere centromere is joining two sister chromatids i am not separating sister chromatids is it yeah easy so that that's about it and now ladies and gentlemen do you see what is happening you are moving towards n condition once again 
isn't it? So, no division, chromosome number, chromosome number is half and uh, do you know there is a checkpoint, we were speaking about checkpoints, right? There is a checkpoint at the level of anaphase also, we used to study about that also. The kind of content and theory that we studied in our time, yeah, and it wasn't long back, you guys shouldn't cry about the syllabus at least. At this stage, there was a previous year question, would you call them tetrads or dyads? What is your observation under the microscope telling you? Are they dyads or tetrads? They are dyads. Because now I can see each recombined chromosome, recombined chromosomes move towards opposite poles, towards opposite poles. Very nice ma'am. Okay. And now, oops, there is a question. Let's solve a question from 2020 everybody. 2020. Answers in the chat box. It's a match the following. <sighs> Laharika is saying one. So if he asks where do you see the dyads, let's write it here. Let's not take a chance. Dyads are seen. Dyads are seen. And don't forget to understand that you will move always from the centromere. It will be the centromere pulled up, pulled down, pulled up, pulled down. You meet, you move the central part of the body, your hands and legs will move. Okay. No, my class is not at 8 a.m. It's 8 p.m. Exactly 12 hours after the time you mentioned. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, go to the next question here. Answers in the chat box. Oh, now people are copying answers. Oh, that is also good. So, what happens to zygotine? This is the best question. I would love the examiner to put a question like this. Zygotine simply means, um, what, what happened in zygotine? Synapses happened in zygotine. So, you can eliminate easily. There you go. It is solved. That is the thing with match the following, the most scoring questions I call them. I love solving match the, I used to love as a student. Packetine crossing over, the keywords that I made you write. Diplothene chiasmida, diakinesis, terminalization. Told you the trick also. Okay, telophase 1, what do you expect? It is the opposite of prophase. So now, there are some changes there. So, the best way to never go wrong with questions of meiosis 1. Meiosis 2 is sorted, not a problem. Meiosis 1 is always learn the differences between the telophase of mitosis, between the prophase of mitosis, between the metaphase of mitosis and this. Hmm? So, now I am not going to decondense chromosomes. Why? Because I have the next division waiting for me. Do you know, in most of the cells, telophase 1 does not happen. It can be absent. Because the cell is like, hey, I am not going to waste time in decondensation, getting the nucleus back, getting the organelles back, and then saying them goodbye, because my job is not done. Why my job is not done, people? Because this is again not a normal condition. You are telling me, you separated the number of chromosomes, but the DNA content is still, this is the opposite chromosome that I have made. Huh. Oh. Okay, so now what is happening is, I want to get to this state, yaar. simple. This is my normal state. So, if one more division is remaining, why are you telling me to change it into chromatin fibers, do all of that? It's such a time waste. Yes, 
but sometimes if the cell is devoid of nutrients yeah is not feeling very energetic it might call for telophase 1 so can be absent and directly from anaphase 1 the cell could go to metaphase in that case because if i don't have telophase 1 i don't need a prophase 2 <laughs> Because prophase and telophase are just opposites of each other. Think about it. Common sense. Right? So, can be absent. If it is present, the chromosomes will, chromosomes become elongated. No chromatin reticulum. I am writing it specifically. No chromatin reticulum will be formed. Nucleus reappears. Nucleus reappears. Okay. And after this, cytokinesis may or may not happen. Mostly the cell will not waste time on cytokinesis. Cytokinesis may not happen. Okay, people. So now you got the end cell, Baba. Like I said, you got the end cell with what is the DNA content of this end cell? Come on, people, answers in the chat box. Yeah, you have two daughter cells. Very happy that they are recombined. They are the they are in the end state because I want gametes to be in the end state. Yes, this is very important so that these gametes come together and form the zygote. Why am I, if I got the end chromosome, I got the recombination also done. New traits are going to come in the future generation. Wow, looking like a wow. Then why do I need another division? I can just pack the cells. I've been telling you since evening. I still cannot pack so much of DNA. I cannot pack so much of DNA. I need to distribute and reduce the DNA content. This is one of the understandings that you guys miss on. There are some people who have joined late and saying Samaj nahi aya, ye problem ho jati hai. You, you Samaj only when you are here since the beginning year. Yeah, you cannot miss the steps. I've been talking about ploidy and DNA content since the session started. Yeah, so am I not understand? Yes, you are not understand. Go back to the lecture, Braj Thakur, you will understand. You've missed a lot of uh, the important things, okay? If you still don't understand, then uh, you can ask your doubt in the next class. Ha! Huh. Before we go further, question please. Come on. Rest of the cell division is easy. Keep solving question. Answers in the chat box. Crossing over takes place between which chromatids and in which stage? 2019 the special class for cell division is at just click on the link and see it's on the platform not on youtube we'll solve previous year questions just the way i'm giving you questions from 2019 18 no not 18 i've touched maximum 19 today 19 20 21 i'm going to take you to 15 16 also in tomorrow's class Everybody is good. Non-sister chromatids and packetine stage. Easy means easy. No problem. Anybody who is scared now should watch the lecture again. What is interkinesis? Well, interkinesis is simply the interface people. Interface which is very very small. Very very short sorry. Short between meiosis 1 and 2. Now people, you know what, this is essential. You cannot, you can skip telophase 1, but you cannot skip interphase 1. Why? Because again, you need to accumulate nutrients. But, but, but. So G1 phase where nutrients were formed, they will be formed for the next division. Is that clear? But in S phase, DNA replication will not take place. I am trying to reduce the DNA. Don't give me more. Yes, so DNA replication 
does not happen this is the biggest difference okay and once again i don't have any no chromatin reticulum is present that we ascertained in we have chromosomes in interface which is weird but it happens in case of meiosis very very important point previous year question neat alert the only replication will be of centrioles i need centrioles to form my spindle apparatus later in metaphase 2 is that very very clear moving further there is a question answers in the chat box everybody after meiosis 1 the resultant daughter cells i just told you baba that's why i put this question because people get confused like so much twice the amount of dna although you are haploid if you have not understood that kindly make an effort to make this very very clear to yourself otherwise this chapter will go into the bin please it is a 2019 question i am not putting the question because i like the concept and i understand the intensity of it it is actually applied by the examiner here one bottle of water is over let me get the next one see my studio is so prepared i totally love it i have another bottle also <laughs> no i actually work hard to make to keep the studio in set condition you know there are decorative lights in one corner yeah yummy so ladies and gentlemen if you have not understood the concept of dna content and ploidy please make an effort do this service to yourself okay so this is it if you thought ma'am is telling the ma'am is just dragging the content why she is telling you why is she telling us that you know this will happen and i can that's why i need the second division because although i am n but i am 2c and i can't afford to have 2c so i will go for second meiotic division which is homotypic division then it's not just me it is the examiner's intent as well my vocal cords are precious to me <laughs> if i'm using them if i'm putting them to service there is a serious meaning that lies so boys and girls this is meiosis 2 like i said every step is supported by beautiful images here i've got the best images for you so prophase 2 is going to be exactly like now how do you think meiosis 2 is different anybody how is meiosis 2 different tell me the differences if you have understood anything what is the difference if i'm saying that meiosis 2 is exactly like mitosis not happening yeah there has to be some difference well people the very first difference is that this is happening in a haploid cell this is happening in a haploid cell and in meiosis in mitosis you got what did i just say meiosis 2 is similar to meiosis no we say meiosis 2 is absolutely like mitosis if i said something wrong because there's a lot of mitosis meiosis meiosis mitosis happening in a span of few hours so a, a slip of tongue is quite uh, possible mm. so if we say meiosis 2 is absolutely like mitosis it cannot be true although it is an equational division but the daughter cells the daughter cells are different from each other from each other and the parent how this is amazing so i personally do not call meiosis 2 as an equational division i said it a while ago that i don't recommend it it's not my personal recommendation a textbook might be saying a question might come 
um, which of the following is an equational division and the choice could be meiosis 2 and you might have to mark it but to my heart it is not true because the daughter cell is not only different in terms of number of chromosomes ladies and gentlemen parent cell had two and two sets of chromosome and now you're going to give me one set of chromosome and that chromosome is recombined so the type and the number both are different phenotype is going to be different how can you call it equational division yeah then in mitosis before we make a blanket statement in science we should check ourselves yeah dna replication happens here dna replication is absent dna replication is absent because we said that in intrakinesis no dna replication happens is that clear dissimilar chromatids in metaphase you have chromatids absolutely same okay so let's look at the individual phases in prophase 2 and metaphase 2 do i need to tell you what will happen in prophase 2 this is just the revision of mitosis in prophase 2 it can be absent it can be absent if telophase 1 is absent then i don't need prophase 2 because prophase 2 is just about the condensation of chromosomes if i have not decondensed the chromosomes in telophase i don't need prophase 2 if i didn't get the organelles back i don't need prophase 2 do you all agree with me if i didn't get the nucleus back i don't need prophase 2 agreed everybody is with ma'am chitu for exam purpose uh, it is an equational division and if prophase 2 will happen astro bodies will be formed i need to form astro bodies i replicated centrioles in interkinesis remember one thing you don't call it interphase don't take so much of liberty when it comes to science science is all about rules i keep telling you nothing is happening randomly even if it looks like everything is a part of a scheme everything has steps now you might ask ma'am you replicated centrioles in interkinesis ma'am you are saying prophase 2 can be absent then how will you form astro bodies astro bodies should be formed in prophase ma'am <laughs> it's okay cell is not so serious cell is in a chill mode cell is like yeah chromosome numbers are half recombination has happened i'm pretty happy most of my job is done only the DNA content has to be distributed. So then that will happen in metaphase 2. You don't have to worry about it. What will happen in metaphase 2? Let's revise. Asha, tell me how many equatorial plates will be formed. Of course, mitotic spindle will be formed. Mitotic spindle will be assembled. Congression will happen. Congression will happen. Congression will happen. Congression will happen. And one equatorial plate. Laharika, how many spindle fibers will be attached to one chromosome? I can help you. Because I know it will not help you if you haven't heard the lecture properly. Huh? So now you have one equatorial plate, ladies and gentlemen. One equatorial plate. What is this equatorial plate made up of? What do you understand by metaphasic plate? You can study anywhere else and understand uh, chromosomes align at the equator and it forms metaphasic plate. Yes, but I told you something more. It is actually the aligned centromeres at the equatorial plate that are actually forming the plate. Isn't it? It is two. One of the major differences, darlings. 
what is the use of telling you concepts with such precision if you don't make a note of it yeah sometimes things are gone and we realize oh i had so much of good things going on for me but i didn't really pay attention don't let that happen one equatorial plate and now centromeres will lead the paths centromeres always lead the paths let's write two spindle fibers two tractile fibers but boys and girls remember the difference is that i have recombined chromosomes can't say that enough look at this here this is very different and appreciable look at this don't forget that you don't have homotypic division which is happening now in anaphase have a look the centromeres centromeres will be pulled yeah when they are pulled you get sister chromatids which are recombined recombined chromatids in anaphase isn't it it is recombined it is absolutely like the anaphase of mitosis yes here's a question from 2020 everybody fast we are we moving we are nearing the end 2020 if you think ma'am says for no use that this concept is very important please take it to your heart then that is why i prove it with the subsequent questions hmm everybody is aligned dissolution of synaptonemal complex will happen when this was just to give you a jhatka hmm everybody is aligned this is very easy for us very good now boys and girls anaphase 2 is sorted you have seen how many daughter cells you will get at the end of telophase i know all of that song okay um telophase chromatin now serious chromatin reticulum will be formed finally in telophase 1 examiner can give a difficult level of question in telophase 1 no matter what chromatin fibers will not be formed chromatin reticulum will not be formed please remember these very very precise concepts of cell division so that you are able to um solve not only easy questions but also difficult questions let me tell you the truth of this competitive exam easy questions everybody can solve moderate questions some janta can solve some people can solve but it is that's why they say right physics takes you to the higher rank because even if you are able to solve one question which is of a difficult level and 80% of the people are not able to solve you could be climbing up by a minimum of more than 500 ranks in this um, if if i speak about 22 to 25 lakh lakh candidates yes it could be a minimum of 500 ranks and that's a minimum i'm i'm being modest and since most of the it is assumed i don't know uh, what is the reality it is assumed that we are not good with physics people struggle with physics although i don't believe it's the case anymore if you get such good teachers like you have in our team that's definitely not the case um so uh, that is why they say that you know if you're good at physics you you become uh, pretty good at your your rank becomes very very you become a ranker very easily okay so these are the precise concepts yaar chromatin reticulum will form now because the cell doesn't have to go again for a immediate next div division it is going to form the daughter cells so this was this was i always form ulta chromosomes i don't know why my hand moves like that why this was one daughter cell this was another daughter cell okay this was the problem this is what i got at the end of meiosis 1 this cell underwent 
think of it n n this is exactly i started my tosses so this is going to give me this and this this is going to give me this and this yes or no yes or no so i get still and my dna content is c now i'm normal this is what i was looking for there you go okay but when i decided to distribute the dna content na baba i had to distribute among four daughter cells yes so the end of telophase 2 is four haploid daughter nuclei without cytokinesis you can't call them daughter cells be very serious with the rules now cytokinesis is of two types the basics of cytokinesis will remain the same that is cleavage method in animals cell plate method in plants we are very happy but cytokinesis in meiosis can be successive or simultaneous all right people so usually successive is if it happens after every division that's not the case here it is it usually happens in some cells it can be successive also it usually happens after both the divisions have happened a question right in front of you everybody and this is the last part of the session it was a very short session not even 10 o'clock here everybody is uh, regarding meiosis which of the following statement is incorrect neat 2022 there you go hmm incorrect four haploid so, uh, cells are formed at the end of is it readable it's quite readable hmm. yeah this is true there are two stages in meiosis one and two yeah dna replication in the oh so bad see precision of concepts pairing of homologous chromosomes what do you uh, call the pairing as it is synapses what do you call the recombination as crossing ha uh, uh, crossing over okay next <coughs> what is the significance of meiosis i don't think i need to tell you could you be my darlings and tell me that will make me happy now i'm not talking about the significance of cell division but we did significance of cell division in the beginning of the session you just have to take out the part of meiosis from that very good you guys are amazing actually uh gametogenesis will not happen if there is no meiosis in sexually reproducing organism so the essence of sexual reproduction doesn't make sense the sexual reproduction when it was decided that in this universe sexual reproduction will happen meiosis had to be there this process of gametogenesis causes variation like you guys said and variation is very important for the world to universe to living world to continue right and i am able to affirm i am able to assert in rather that a species continues as it is human beings remain humans drosophila remains drosophila pea plant remains pea plant because i am able to maintain the chromosome number yaar maintain chromosome number okay 
Is this clear? That's all about the significance. Question in front of you, answers in the chat box. Very easy question from NEET 2020. Tell me fast the answer of this attachment of spindle fibers to kinetochores of chromosomes becomes evident in which phase? People, don't give up as of now. You've done great. I appreciate your thanks. I love it when people find my responses useful and helpful. Somehow my phone starts talking out of nowhere here. Jeevan, you know, you have such a beautiful name, but uh, you seem to be troubled. What happened? Come, come to me and tell me what happened. What is troubling you so much in life here? Life is really short here. You don't know what's going to happen in the next very moment. And then you come into the class at any given point of time, at any duration of the session. Don't think that ma'am is busy in teaching, so she doesn't know. What you guys are doing, who is attending the classes, who is not attending the classes, who is doing what. I know everything. Priya, but that's supposed to happen, right? If I am there, my shadow will be there, no? <laughs> how, can, how can my shadow leave me outside the studio and I be here, darling? Oh, that was such a cute comment I want to say. What do I do with you guys, huh? Oh. Vijay Kumar, attachment of spindle fibers to kinetochores of chromosomes becomes evident in metaphase. That was the easiest question of today's evening. Yeah. Oh. Types of meiosis, where did this come from ma'am? What is happening? Why types of meiosis? We never, we never read. Have you guys read about this types of meiosis? I don't think so. Types of meiosis without googling. Uh, Sayyid, that's not what I'm talking about. I'll speak about that uh, since it's a little out of the syllabus in detail. We will do that. We'll write that in end game batch. Jeevan, I think you have a neurological issue. It is, network issue is much better than that. So kindly resolve that and network issue will be resolved anyway. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, types of meiosis is nothing to be scared about. Sayyid, I am talking about what you have done in plant kingdom with ma'am. Well, people, meiosis happens in cells called as meiocytes okay meiocytes are the mother cells and if i talk about animal cells if i talk about animal cells as much as i love this color is it visible not much no oh, my boat doesn't have so many options here okay animal cells we have these spermatocytes we have these spermatocytes and we have the oocytes you guys study extensively in human reproduction. Let me talk about my plants, my plants, my plants. In plants, the meiocytes are of two types, the microsporocytes, sporocytes or the pollen mother cell and the megasporocyte, megasporocyte or the MMC, megaspore mother cell. Now, um, this is done about the cell, but there are three kinds of meiosis. If we look at, there is gametic meiosis. There is gametic meiosis. Understand that I've taught you this very extensively in the life cycle of the plant. Rings a bell. How many of you? It rings a bell. Zygotic meiosis rings a bell. Yeah, what life cycle corresponds to zygotic meiosis, everybody? And then you have 
the sporic meiosis i'm making it clear because i saw some questions regarding this topic as well this is based on the life cycle of organisms isn't it so gametic meiosis simply means what is gametic meiosis which will happen at the time of gametogenesis this is what we have studied today na gametogenesis and this is the case of us this is the case of us meiosis only happens at the time of gamete formation na? otherwise we are diploid happy human beings so can i say that this is a feature of diplontic life cycle diplontic life cycle yeah this is the question that they tend to ask cool now what about zygotic meiosis in the zygote i taught you this last class in zygote in zygote what kind of life cycle as seen in algae this will be seen in lower organisms here like algae which shows haplontic life cycle this is the last topic of the day and the easiest topic and the third one without a fail is sporic meiosis sporic meiosis i taught you you guys wrote it in the comment section extensively that it is seen in sporophyte again this is seen in lower plants yeah the sporophyte undergoes meiosis to form gametophyte hmm? very good priya priya yeah priya um this is seen in haplodiplontic haplodiplontic life cycle so since we did plant kingdom in the last class i wanted to place a connection between the two and make your life better this is what is types of meiosis then there are terms like a mitosis there is endomitosis yeah those are all abnormal mitosis when we study biological classification we study about a mitosis which happens directly without any spindle fibers or anything there is no spindle formation endomitosis also happens within the nucleus itself endomitosis is happening within the nucleus itself nuclear membrane is not going anywhere ma'am without studying plant kingdom we can learn this why won't you study plant kingdom are you asking me to skip something look at the person ask the right question from the person oh poison no oh, oh i didn't know this is remaining i forgot about it okay so we have poison what is poison well people i have mentioned about this early in the evening about poison so what is mitotic poison the commonly used poison the most commonly used poison there are many chemicals which can be used most commonly used is colchicine colchicine derived from com of we did this in morphology families also who will tell me celsia which family colchicine belongs to and this family is in your syllabus if you even want to begin to uh say ma'am we, we don't know com of colchicum colchicum autumnal oh the autumn kya hai autumnal i'm forgetting the spelling of i think my mind is colchicum autumn manil oops oh yeah there we go colchicum autumn manil the autumn the autumn variety of uh colchicum plant Liliaceae family. Ah, huh, what? What have you? Uh, did you Google it? Yeah, it's okay. We all Google when there is a problem in life. Google is Google is everywhere. 
yeah so this belongs to liliaceae family yaar it is very much in your syllabus and the question like i said this is a concept which is a part of liliaceae as well uh, which is a part of morphology as well as cell division so such questions gain more probability of being asked i know sauthi <laughs> yeah that sometimes everybody is human what to do human beings are born to do errors aren't they so my intent is to poison the cell division at the most uh, easy to recognize and easy to acknowledge step where which phase do i see the chromosomes the most clearly and together like behaving very very properly it is metaphase so at metaphase naturally also it arrests the division at metaphase arrest the division at metaphase with me everybody it arrests the division at metaphase because it prevents the formation of spindle apparatus and i've been saying this since early evening that metaphase is all about that is why i did not form the spindle apparatus in the prophase i always take the charge of this thing the precision of it is this so spindle apparatus there is no alignment of the discontinuous and continuous fibers which is happening and what i get is chromosome replication has happened i mean chromatins are formed isn't it so this leads to polyploidy this leads to polyploidy and i like polyploidy because between metaphase and anaphase think about it between if you ask me where exactly this poison will work it will work it will let the chromosomes align at the center but when it comes to why do you need the spindle apparatus baba you need the spindle apparatus not only for the alignment of chromosomes in the center but you majorly need them in the separation because if i don't cause traction from the opposite poles na they will never separate and in anaphase you your cell comes with a this condition for a moment till you completely go to the poles you are in a polyploid condition ah the n cell that you started with for a short time till between metaphase and anaphase is in a polyploid condition i am 2n for a brief moment of course when the anaphase completes listen to what i'm saying it's quite quite pinpointed because if i say it's written in the textbook yeah, yeah i could have gone further telling you that you know what at metaphase poisoning has happened and you get polyploid condition nobody asked me ma'am how come because in metaphase all i have is this hey, this is still n yaar even if you arrest the cell division when i'm n there is no harm you're not giving me any polyploidy and i want polyploidy especially in plants to check this is an experiment that 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 horticulturists do to see if the future generation has some extra trait something some spider man will be formed for example they've done it extensively in potato poor guy okay but this is a phase when i'm not at the, at the extreme pole and i'm not at the metaphasic plate and if you arrest me right here because you did not have any spindle fib fiber pulling me back then i am a polyploid cell Um, come on. Okay, 
then what are the other poisons oh before we go to the questions what are the other poisons let me think about it there are so many poisons here it's all chemistry cyanides can cyanides in my view can i think you is chemistry in everyday life still in your syllabus cyanides azides azides then i remember studying um, in my second year of college i uh, sort of had to do it the anti cancer drugs the chemotherapy drugs right taxol vincristine they will all also arrest the cell division most of them will affect this phase right they will not let the cell divide they will not let the um, because this is easy to break this phase is easy to break because you have the chromosomes pretty much aligned so yeah anti cancer chemotherapy drugs vincristine and taxol derivatives good learn with logic so that you don't make a fool out of yourself is this clear is this clear to everybody question from 2020 and this is done the chapter is done congratulations for doing another chapter i don't know which chapter it is today which day it is but uh, you guys are very lucky uh, to get guidance of this level and i'm not saying only for botany i'm saying it for every subject done on this channel everybody who stands on this side of the camera is working really really hard any teacher and not only the teachers yeah there's the entire team there's a lot lot there are a lot of people involved for making each and every session and for making us stand here they coordinate with us they take care of us to take care of you so i want everybody to inculcate gratitude in life it will at least make you a good person it will put a smile on your face ah then neat exam and selections will follow hmm so uh, please uh, kindly sincerely <laughs> answer the question it is for you guys you forget that ma'am is not getting anything by solving questions come on i can understand teaching the concept nicely is my passion i live for that i get happiness doing that i i i feel fulfilled but question solving is for you why do you guys why do i have to remind you again and again solve the question solve the question the admit card is going to have your name not my name and you know we drink a lot of water standing which we shouldn't why do i bring these questions number 1 to tell you the pattern of questions number 2 to remove any fear number 3 to prove that when teachers say that this concept is important this sub concept is important cool so maths the following are very scoring g1 phase c again interface examiner is hell bent on making questions out of interface the proof is right in front of you ha huh? so g1 phase what is happening here i to forgot my to mind has gone g1 phase what happens cell grows and organal duplication happens isn't it no g1 phase cytoplasmic growth will happen first because in g2 phase also cell will grow and organ this was a good question ah huh? nice ah huh? <laughs> a uh, cannot go for first do we have a for first oh he saved you he saved you through the options ah huh? yeah cell will grow in size the maximum here cytoplasmic growth means what cytoplasmic growth means that i'm adding all the nutrients to the cytoplasm also na i'm making it denser and denser okay thank you so much for whatever comment you've written s phase dna replication g2 phase already done metaphase in alignment of chromosomes good oh 
so guys like the session if you haven't liked since you're sitting here and loving it and since sincere efforts have been made and the teachers go through all your spamming don't they they take it head on like bullets it doesn't feel nice when you guys spam the chat box for any teacher for that matter when they are putting such serious efforts into teaching you but we take it we we understand that there are several kinds of minds and ideologies and there are it's a it's a universe of diversity we promise biodiversity na huh? done and dusted yeah you guys say that right a lot in other classes done and dusted so i want like every session i want the comment section after the video to be flooded with whatever you felt during the session yeah i'm not just saying that it it should all be mushy mushy but your experience of the session is what you can give your teachers yeah um so comment section i want absolute honest heartfelt uh comments i read all the comments that you guys put and i want you to share this session with your juniors as well people who are embarking on their need journey people who are in 12th and are anxious that you know we could not understand our 11th see i'm doing you must have noticed that i did only one chapter of class 12th but i'm focusing mainly on class 11th there's a reason because class 11th biology is much more intense and lays your foundation for your class 12th biology yeah so very 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 important and guys if you have joined the end game batch good for you if you haven't joined or and you're thinking not to join i want you to share it with somebody who's looking for who's or maybe you are a plus subscriber or whatever it is at least spread the news of the end game batch which is if you don't know ah there we go up uh, <laughs> technology is quite a game isn't it where am i getting lost there we go yeah beautiful faces yeah so your classes are already already happening yavar sir kailash sir if you don't know the teachers if you go to the details of the batch that is if you click on the link which is given in the description of this session you will get even the demo classes you will get to see the demo class of every teacher yeah the profile of every teacher is mentioned you have the best ones here i am not even talking about myself here to here the best the best ever can't say this enough you take it from me i guarantee you it is the best in the entire country right now okay so before my cold catches too much uh, there is uh, um also yeah the code is pm1 live and don't let the batch close down and then you hunting in the entire country oh somebody should give me a crash course such a crash course with such teachers is not going to happen again you know it yeah so right now the price is this don't let it increase and don't let the batch to close down the syllabus has already started with very very important chapters there's also uh, malaria is good every disease incre increases immunity enjoy the disease enjoy sickness don't take life seriously <sighs> like i was saying but you should take your aim seriously if you're aiming for something specific in life you should take it seriously if you don't work towards it beyond ma'am i got sick ma'am i am not feeling good ma'am i am confused ma'am my friend said this ma'am i feel anxious i feel sad i don't know i know if you don't move beyond all this and take the right decision na baba you're going to pay for it you you're not going to get selected it's as simple as that if you want to be a part of any of the other batches and if you want to avail the plus subscription which has much more features many more features or you are a 2025 student go for resolve 2024 use pm1 live and keep smiling would you keep smiling promise everybody ma'am no matter what 
हाउ एवर अवर माइंड फूल्स अस टूडे एंड टुमोरो वी आर गोइंग टू स्माइल लाइक देर इज नो टुमोरो हाँ योर फेशियल मजल्स नीड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्माइलिंग यार when everything is okay and good and you smile you have not done anything but when you are not feeling okay and you smile that's the real deal then you are a human being hey you are doing something right you are doing something great look at my pens see i work with so many pens at any given and there are others lying because your note should be very good okay so it was lovely to meet you guys it's a blessing i say it's absolute blessing if somebody will ask me who do i what do i want in the next birth yeah it would be to be a teacher again but maybe i could get to uh, teach some mathematics or physics which couldn't really uh, i couldn't make friends with these subjects in this birth yeah All right, people. It was lovely to have you. You guys are amazing as always, and you guys uh, um, be blessed, be happy, uh, take care of your health and wealth. What is your wealth? Your wealth is what you think out here. Ah, chal. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Ishta.